the big screen. So here's Mancini now. He's got 19 homers, got a minute left. Swing and a high fly ball, left field. That one heading towards the seats, and that one is gone. He swings and blasts one out towards left center. That's going to go. Now Mancini rips one out to center. And that'll fall short of the wall. Here's a high fly ball ripped to right. That one slicing. That one gone. I think he's getting a little fatigued, Boog. 30 seconds left. He drives this one out towards left center. Fatigue or not, he's got another. A low liner out to center, and that hits the wall 415 feet away. And now Mancini tries the other way. Under 10 seconds to go, he's got 23 homers. Matt Olson still to come. That one going the other way, and that one is gone. And so his total is 24. Trey Mancini, great, great work. It's all going to be interesting to see. I mean, he's the first guy out of the gates. What is sort of that average, if you will? This is Coors Field. The ball is flying. So yeah. we have no idea if he's had a great round or right. if he's just had kind of an, an average round. We have no idea. That's a great point. MLB and T-Mobile are bringing an all-new derby experience to fans with the MLB AR app. This augmented reality app provides unprecedented 3D views and ball tracking for the T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Download today at MLB.com slash AR. So now it is Matt Olson who will get a chance. Olson up here in this spot. And the Oakland left-hand hitting first baseman has put together a fine first half. singy has got 23 home runs. And through his first 500 games, 123 homers, second most in franchise history behind only Mark McGuire, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, and he is a big-time pull hitter. So, you know, I think that comes into play, especially when we talk about a guy getting tired. We saw Trey Mancini, understandably so, starting to fatigue a little bit. And it makes it a little bit harder for you to hit that ball to center field, to right center field with consistency at that point. But even when you're getting tired, you got to pull swing. You're cheating a little bit, and that can help throw it over that fence. So here is Olsen going with the green batting gloves, but the bright yellow shoes. Eric Martins, the A's assistant hitting coach, is throwing to him. As Olsen swings and crushes one out towards right center field, over the high wall, and that is gone. Now another launch towards center. That one back, but it'll short hop the wall. Here's one crushed right field, and that one is foul. So he's got one home run. As we just get started, 24 for Mancini. Olsen lifts this one out to right field, and that's gone. Now a low liner. Hooking down, and it gets out. It's a home run for Olsen. He crushes this one out towards right center, and that's over the wall and gone. Now another out towards right center field. And Olsen starting to settle into a really good groove. This one crushed. Right field, third deck, look out. And Olsen crushes another one. Ooh, Here's a line nine. drive to right. That'll go. Oh, boy. This one high and deep. Right field. And off the facade of the third deck. Wow. And now he gets into this one. Blasted deep to right. Hello, third deck. He's got 118 left in 10 homers. And now he tries the other way. Timeout on the court. <laughs> when he hits one the other way, he knows I'm getting a little tired. I better call that timeout. That is not part of his game. It's all about pull. 
Yeah, he hit 1495, so he's gotten the extra 30 on top of the bonus 30. So he'll have the extra minute. So he's got the 115 here, and then there'll be a stoppage. Marcus Simeon, the Blue Jays all-star infielder and former Oakland A's teammate, goes out to chat. You know, Simeon's heart is still in Oakland. He is a Bay Area kid and spent a lot of time throwing across the diamond to Matt Olson over the last few years, so can't help, even though he's wearing the Blue Jays blue, go up there and give him something to drink, give him a towel. get all the players wearing number 44 to honor the great home run hitter Henry Aaron back at it speaking of homers that one crushed to right gone he's got 11. Olsen hits a liner to right field and that hits the top of the fence this one line to right that one is off the wall a line drive out of the right center field. Under a minute to go, he's got to get it going. There's one. That's it out to right center. He's going to have to get on a really serious roll, Chris. Yeah, he is. It's off. Backspin's not quite there as it was earlier. Last couple of swings, just coming out of it a little bit. And some weak pop-ups. 30 seconds left. There's one. A high fly ball out towards right center field. This one crushed to right. And that one back there, and that one is out of here. Well, he's got 15 seconds, 14 homers. Got a shot. We'll get some bonus time. He gets a minute of bonus time. He hits another right there. He gets another right there. And he gets another if it's fair, but it'll curl. Foul. So 17 homers. So this is where it gets a little fun. He's going to have to hit seven homers in a minute to top. They gave Mancini 24 is what he finished with? Yeah. It's going to be tough. Pitching coach is going to have to be on point. Put it on a tee for him. And for him, he's, you know, he holds the bat. He's got a different kind of setup to him, and he can get flat real quick. But he can get flat and get on plane, create that backspin where he doesn't have to work as hard, then I think he's got a chance to get, hit that seven. Chris Singleton's instant analysis is brought to you by John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. Run with us. Your Coors Field, T-Mobile Home Run Derby, and Matt Olson back to work. Rounds one foul, and the clock is ticking. And there's a rip to right. That's going to be off the top of the fence. Oh. Now one clobbered out to right field. That's gone. Almost. Here's another deep to right. Pops this one up. 40 seconds left. He's got 19. There Make it, it 20. That one out to right. That's short. Yep. This one crushed to right. That'll go. He's got 21. Come on. Right field and way gone. He's got 22. He's got 17 okay. seconds. Ground ball to first. He needs two to tie. Oh. And a liner out to right center. 10 seconds. Needs two to tie. There's one. A line drive to it. right. Get up. There's one. Stay fair. And he finishes one short. Oh. Wow, just foul. Oh my goodness. And Mancini and Olsen hug. Matt Olsen finishes one homer short. Trey Mancini advances 24 to 23. That was entertaining. Coming up, it'll be Trevor Story and Joey Gallo. This is the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Fresh Family Meyer. Your new Westfield Meyer store has opened its doors. It's where you'll find fresh. 
High quality meats, seafood, and farm fresh produce delivered daily. It's where you'll find family. A huge selection of home, apparel, and electronics brands at low Meyer prices. From our family to every member of yours. All for you, all in one place. Drop by or shop online at Meyer.com or in the Meyer app. We'll be here for you at your fresh family, Westfield Meyer. I'm all out of love for my old insurance. AAA.com slash insurance for a quote. Goodbye, insurance. Hello, insurance. It's time for some straight talk. We've all been there. You have some real work to do, but the free Wi-Fi where you're working isn't going to cut it. It's like leaving the winning runner stranded on third base. Not good. Well, now you can be your own hotspot with Straight Talk's ultimate unlimited plan. Get 10 gigs of hotspot data for just 55 bucks a month. All on America's largest, most dependable networks. Straight Talk Wireless. No contract, no compromise. Compatible device required. See straighttalk.com. This is the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. The 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio is brought to you by Capital One. Capital One has no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts. That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One, N.A., member FDIC. So Mike Redman, who is the Rockies bench coach, will head out and throw to Trevor Story. He throws to Story pretty much every day. Mike Redman, former Major League catcher, as they set up the mound so to speak it's the l screen but each guy's a little bit different there's a little bit of an angle and i think a little bit of latitude in terms of distance as well so redman who back in the day was a backup catcher who had a really good long career backing up the likes of charles johnson joe mauer and a guy who perpetually killed lefties, and especially Tom Glavin. And now it's Trevor Story getting a chance to hit. Tips his cap. He gets a great hand, a free agent at the end of the year. And Trevor Story. And listen to the hand that he gets from the folks here in Denver. I mean, this could really be one of the last times they get a chance to see him. There's a very good likelihood that he'll end up being traded. And he is one of those guys. I mean, you think about the free agent market in terms of shortstops with Seeger and Baez and Story and Simeon. Well, just, just think about the timing, bro. There's no way that Trevor Story gets traded before the All-Star is over with. Because you could not trade him somewhere else, and he comes back here in a different uniform. Story swings here, lifts one to shallow left center. I asked Mike Redman, where does he like it? And he said, middle in. Here's a line drive out towards right center field, and that one just gets over the wall. It's a homer. Now one blasted deep to left, a straightaway homer deep into the stands in left field and he's got two stories career high in homers 37 this one clobbered left field down the line and gone the next pitch is crushed out towards left center and story's second by the way was measured at 518 feet that is a new home run derby record breaking aaron judge's mark of 513 in 2017 in Miami. He crushes another one here. Wow, that's way back. And that's to left. He's got six. Well, just think about it. First four games in the big leagues. Only player in history to homer in his first four consecutive big league ball games. This one smoked to deep left center, and that one will go. I mean, he's almost clearing the stands and hitting it onto the concourse out there. 
as he lines this one left field and it hits the wall and now time is called with a minute 24 to go it's story against gallo and trevor goes for the towel He goes to his timeout a little quicker than what we saw Matt Olson. Matt Olson had about a minute left. One thing for me, Boog, as you look at Nolan Arenado, look at him. He's fired up down there giving Trevor Story a towel and something to drink, trying to get the fans pumped up. I know they miss his energy here. It's endless. Nolan Arenado is just nonstop movement, and he is just urging on the fans. Ramon Marquez down there as well. So seven total homers. And 124 to go. Story taking a deep breath as he faces Joey Gallo. Last guy to win it at home, Bryce Harper in 2018. Remember that. Yep. That was epic. He was feeding off the energy of the crowd, just like I'm sure Trevor Story is going to do in this final minute 24. Redmond fires. And Story takes. This one crushed out towards center field. That one back, and that one is gone. So he's got eight now. Here's a high fly ball drilled to center field. And that'll stay in the park. This next one line, and that'll bounce and short hop the wall. Here's one crushed down the left field line, and that's fair and gone. Nine for Story. Make it ten. That one out to left center. Yeah, he's throwing him out now. He has found the swing path. Story crushes one high and deep out to left center. But the park will hold that one. This one, however, is going to find the seats. And he's got a dozen. Another one crushed out towards left center into the seats. And Trevor Story, the total continues to climb. Mancini eliminating Olsen already here. And he awaits the winner of Story and Gallo. Fast and furious, the pitches and the swings come. Oh. And the clock strikes zero. Does the last one count? It does. 16. And he gets bonus time. Another minute. You know, one thing I think about, Boog, when you are a player in an all-star game or this home run derby and it's in your city, you can come to the ballpark tired because you've got all kinds of family and friends and different things like that going on. And for a guy competing like this, and Bryce Harper, when he did it in 2018 with the Nationals, I mean, I think it's even more so for them to get it done at home because it can be exhausting yeah, in a no lot doubt. of ways. No question about it. Trevor Story setting the record. Here in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby, a 518-foot homer, and that is the longest homer ever in this event. Trevor Story, amazing athlete. Guy who can really run. Grew up in the greater Dallas area near Texas Stadium. He's going to make a lot of money at the end of this year, but I think he's also going to make a real big impact this year's playoff race. Back to work. The Magenta Baseball in play. And Story will take Mike Redmond deal. Story crushes that one left field. That one back, that one gone. Swing and a liner out towards center field. That is off the wall. This one drilled out towards the 415 marker, but it'll short hop the fence. Joey Gallo waiting down to the left. The story hits one out to center. Gotta be getting tired. Yeah. Mm. They're just not jumping. 
This one is jumping. Left field, and that's gone. Clock at five, at four, at three. Swing and a high fly ball drilled out towards left center. That's it's it. gone. Here's one yes. more. And it's gone. A great finish for Trevor Story. 20 home runs for the hometown hero. Let's go downstairs. We'll check in with Tim Kirkjian. Boog, it is so loud down here, I can't even hear myself talk. Trevor Story put on a show, as has everyone else, but this place really erupted with Nolan Arenado, his former teammate, came out and implored the crowd to, to yell even louder. He also hit a couple balls to places I have never seen hits in this ballpark. He hit it over the concourse out there, 518 feet. The atmosphere here is just as crazy as we thought it would be. Yeah, no doubt, and it was great to see Nolan Arenado get involved as Trevor Story was absolutely amazing and really got the crowd going. And now we will watch Joey Gallo. Gallo, who will be thrown to by his third base coach, Tony Beasley. Joey Gallo, one of the premier power guys out there. 6'5", 250. He's hit 24 homers, an all-star this year. He hit 41 and 17, 40 and 18. And Singy, he can hit it out and far every direction he's got a 495 foot home run it's like the sixth highest in the stat cast era as far as how far it went but you know, this is just amazing we look at trey mancini we wondered he set the the pace there as he was the first guy out of the gates yeah. and i think he we weren't he wasn't just having an average round i think he had a pretty solid round and that's going to be kind of that mark that you look at uh trey mancini's because trevor story i mean he was he was gassed a little bit and laboring there at the end. Joey Gallo, who grew up in Las Vegas, playing with and against both Chris Bryant and Bryce Harper. It was Chris Bryant's father, Mike, that taught him a lot about his swing and a lot about hitting. He is big. Again, 6'5", 250, 27 years old. And we're underway as he lifts one in the air to center. Left-handed hitter, mm. crushes one out towards right center field, and that one back, and that's gone. So he is on the board. And now pops one up. Talk about finishing the first half five. Last 19 games, 13 home runs for Joey Gallo. Easily coming in hot. Gallo nodding. Joe Avila. Yeah, he's going hard. <laughs> he's bringing it. Yeah, he's but, I mean, right again, now. this is something they've talked about. Like, he's not doing it in a way that Gallo doesn't want. Yeah. 215 and only one homer for go. Gallo. Here is number two. It should be. Let's see. Nope. Hits the wall. This one blasted to right field, and that one is gone. And Gallo gets into this one over the high wall. 16 and a half feet to right. That's out of here. Here's one crushed out towards right center, but that's short of the fence. Last Ranger to win a home run derby, Juan Gonzalez back in 1993. You, know, you think of that great performance by Josh Hamilton, right? But Justin Morneau ended up winning that home run derby at Yankee Stadium and I guess, what was it, 2008, I believe. So timeout called here, 144 to go on the clock. And Gallo with four homers. And is he going with a new bat? Yes, he might be. Joey Gallo. That Garcia supporting him. Adolis Garcia, absolutely. Yeah. Stud. Still to come. It'll be Alonzo and Salvador Perez, Juan Soto, and Shohei Otani as Gallo takes a pause and gets a little bit of the sticky stick on there. He's got some work to do, bro. Yeah, he does. He should have no problem getting the bonus time. 
unfastens the batting gloves, refastens those bright red batting gloves, climbs back in left side. It swings and crushes one out towards right field, and that one is gone. He's got five. Gallo with a 490-foot homer, and he's gotten the bonus shot. Yeah, he's struggling to get that loft that he needs, that launch angle. There it is. This one crushed out towards center field. And that one will find the seats. For what his swing is doing, it's... And again, I, I said this, they discussed it, but it seems like Beasley's throwing a little too firm for him. Yeah. This one smoked to right, and that's gone. No, it hits the top of the wall. There Gallo is. rips one to right field. That'll go. So again, he's got 45 seconds left, only seven homers. He hits a towering fly ball out to right field. And that one will get out. This one popped up. 30 seconds to go. He's at eight homers. And Gallo crushes that one out to right. And that off the facade of the third deck. And now another blasted out to right center. Nine seconds to go. He's got ten home runs. He needs two. And he can't get it, and time expires. He's got 11, so he's going to need to hit nine homers in the think, minute bonus time. I think if he could have gotten a 12-13, there is a chance in yes. that bonus time, but now I, I just think it's too far to go. It'll be really hard. I mean, you talk about not just Joey Gallo, but... Tony Beasley, he's going to have to just be in a groove for this final 60 seconds. And, and they're having Gallo's a chat right now. They're talking out in front. You don't see this a ton in the middle of the competition where the pitcher and the hitter are, are having an extended chat. They've obviously talked about this. Clear, You know, they practice. All these guys have practiced at this point. Practice? Practice. You want to talk about practice? Yeah, we are. So Beasley... We'll get back behind the L screen. Gallo will dig back in on the left side. He needs nine homers in a minute to tie Trevor Story. Gallo digs in, and away we go. Beasley pitches. And a line drive to right. That won't do it. Next one. Crush to right. If it's fair, it's got a chance. It's fair, and it's gone. See ya. Next one is blasted high in the air to right field. That'll get out of here. Uh -oh. Here's one deep to right. Look out. And now he crushes another out towards right center. Well, this one is blasted right field. He's in a groove now. That made the third deck. He gets under this one. He's at 17 now. He needs three in about 22 seconds. Got to get up. No. Nope. There it is. There's one. He needs two more. In the air, right field. Oh. And that Gotta just misses this getting out. Oh, it's over. And a high fly ball out to right, and he comes up short. Gallo hits 19, Story hits 20, and Trevor Story will advance. They hug at home plate, and Story gets a standing O. How about that? Each of our first two, one homer separating. Who, who told you that Trevor Story was going to upset Joey Gallo? You did. Thank you. So it'll be Mancini and Story moving on. Still to come, Pete Alonzo, Salvador Perez. You're listening to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Game on ESPN Radio and ESPN.
At Lowe's, we know your home is an expression of you. And we see you walking down these aisles of possibility, running your finger on that marble top Allen and Roth vanity, regularly $5.99, but now $3.49. And finding that perfect rattan pendant at an everyday low price of $99.98. In our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into, a price you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see associate at Lowe's.com for details. Bow through 829.21, U.S. only. My old insurance Switch to insurance They say so much Visit AAA.com slash insurance For a quote Goodbye insurance Hello Insurance Did by Taco Bell This is Bart and Han We always talk about Deadline Spurn Action And listen The deadline isn't here yet The deadline is when they start Taking that money out Away from When they take that 21 million dollars When he has to pay back money That's when you're going to see Action Right, this is when we're going to see if, what Aaron Rodgers is willing to do. If he's willing to play this game of chicken, and how far Green Bay is willing to take it. If they go two, three games, and the first three games they lose, then the advantage is going to go to Aaron Rodgers, and they're going to have to figure out, hey, what do you want? Like, what do we really need to do, right? Because now we're in desperation mode. Because now the fan base saying, man, this is a lost season, and you're losing your ticket holders, you're losing your fans. So now you got to say, well, either we're going to move on, and this season is a loss. So we trade him right now and get as much as we can get for some team that's in stress. Or Aaron Rodgers is going to say, hey, I'm here. I'm available. These are my demands. Thank you very much. Bart and Hall. Weekdays at noon Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN+. Plus. We need your help. We need money for research. It, it may, may not save, save my, my life. life. It, it may, may save, save someone you love. Because of all the donations, mine... It's one of the lives that's been saved. Donating would help get better treatment so more kids can survive. Our mom is canceled. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. To donate, go to v.org slash donate. Mike Greenberg. Green. Part of Aaron Boone's job is to figure out a way out of the adversity. Mm. If he doesn't, then he's going to get fired. But you tell me, will the Pittsburgh Steelers fire Mike Tomlin if they go 4-13 and 13 this year? No chance. No chance. Of course not, because you believe in him. They've had three coaches since 1969. Greening with Mike Greenberg. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. And watch exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. You're listening to the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Fans, the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio is brought to you by GEICO. Whether you rent or own, GEICO makes it easy to bundle home and car insurance. Go to GEICO.com today. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, and Tim Kirkjian down on the field as... The T-Mobile Home Run Derby continues from Coors Field on a steamy day. Temperatures in the low 90s. Dave Jouse, the bench coach for the Mets, will deliver to Pete Alonzo. Alonzo, who is defending his crown from 2019. Remember how good the Home Run Derby was in 2019 Cleveland, in yeah. Cleveland. What's amazing, again, is... I think a little bit like that Josh Hamilton performance at Yankee Stadium where you forget that Justin Morneau ended up winning. The memorable part was the Hamilton performance. Jock Peterson and Vladdy Guerrero going head-to-head -head at that one semifinal, but it was Pete Alonso who won it all. One of the other cool things about that you know, guy they call the polar bear, Gary DeSarcino, the third base coach, gave him that nickname, but... He loved it. He was pumped up about it. He wanted to come back here and defend his crown. The winner of this contest wins a million dollars. When Pete won a million dollars, he gave away 10% of it to charity, which is pretty cool to the Wounded Warrior Project, it, part of his donation, and a guy who I think for the most part throughout the game is known as one of the, the better dudes going. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, from coming up as a rookie, even before... You know, they got to the all-star game man he became you know the leader the emotional leader the one that was taking you know basically the city by storm saying let's go mets let's go downstairs tim kirkjian with trey mancini trey what was that like for you 
It was incredible. Um, I just wanted to soak up every moment of it, and it was nerve-wracking. I mean, I had some nerves. Obviously, I took my time out earlier than I anticipated, but we got in a rhythm, and um, it was just so much fun. Cedric Mullins gave you a pep talk. It worked. He did. Cedric uh, yeah, has a magic touch uh, when he's when he's coaching me, so uh, he does that sometimes during the games, and then tonight it worked a lot, too. So, yeah, I'm lucky to have Ced right there. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Trey, Tim, thanks, and underway it's Pete Alonzo, who's already got a couple of home runs. Alonzo facing off against Salvador Perez. And this one is clobbered. Left field lookout. Thank God. He's got three. I want to see the distance on that last one. They said 492. Here's a high fly ball left field. And that'll go. Man, he hits a pie, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Looks like he's standing a little more upright. Yeah, just kind of keeping his legs from getting fatigued, getting some nice movement, oh, weight transfer. This one deep. out towards left center. And that's onto the concourse. 5-12 with that one that hit the concourse. And he's at nine. Make it ten. He's hitting them faster than I can call them or count them. Another over the wall. 11, 12. Fly Stand ball out towards left center field. Still might get out. Holy cow. It did. And now time called. And Polar Pete will take a break. He's feeling it. Backs out, bobbing his head to the music. I mean, for a guy that's done this before, he knows exactly how to pace himself in terms of energy. And his Met teammate and all-star, Taiwan Walker, is out there. And I've seen Taiwan Walker pitch a couple of times this year. 30. And he's pitched great. But here's the other thing with Taiwan Walker. Look at him standing next to Pete Alonso. Taiwan Walker is huge. Yeah. Taiwan Walker is bigger than Pete Alonso. He's got those big, just boxer shoulders. Oh my like gosh, yeah. Boxer, it's just unreal. And I can't tell he's got this little kid down there. That he trotted out. All right, so 131 to go, 13 homers for Alonzo. The 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio. Here's a high fly ball out towards center field. And that one gets out. Next one launched out towards left center. That'll go. This one way back, way deep, and gone. Wow. He just hit one 514. Even his misses are carrying out. He's got 17 home runs. Maybe one of us should have picked him. You know, he has won it before. So Alonzo and bench coach Dave Jouse connecting here. He's got 19 homers, make it 20. And Salvador Perez still to come. 21 now. He's hit a couple over 500 feet. This one out towards right center. And that'll go. This one down the line. And that one is way gone. He's still got bonus. Yeah, he's oh, got a gosh. minute of bonus time left. And he's up to 24 homers. 25. 25. Where's that one going to land? Left center, gone. He finished with 25. You know he's got 30 plus. Met fans absolutely loving it. Taiwan Walker's out there with his with his daughter. And Pete Alonso, 25 homers. He's got a minute of bonus time. And while we have a moment, 
We'll pause 10 seconds. Station ID, you're listening to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. So Pete Alonzo is kind of just dancing and bopping his head. Trying to keep himself in that space. Yep. Feeling the rhythm. He's had a great rhythm. 25 home runs. Alonzo in the first half with 17 home runs. Last year he had 16, obviously, in a shortened season. A rookie record, 53. Magenta ball. That one blasted out towards right center, and that'll go. Here's one clobbered to left. And that's out of here. Now one hit out to straightaway center and gone. And Alonzo with a towering fly ball left field on its way out of here. That's to center field. See ya. 30. He's got 30 home runs. His longest is 514. Story has the longest at 520. Story's longest was at 518, I beg your pardon. And that is the longest ever in the history of this event. Here's one crushed out towards center. And Pete Alonzo pumping his fist. <laughs> It's <laughs> fired up. I love how fired up he gets. It's like this we're at City Field right now. He is vibing off the energy like he's in his own home ballpark. That's New first cool. round record. It was initially set 29. Oh, if you're Salvador Perez right now, you're just you can't let it get in your head and think of that number because you look at that number it's it, you're going to be swinging and you're going to run out of gas too quickly so story and mancini have advanced pete alonzo with a first round record 35 homers and up next it'll be salvador perez and Tim, what's it been like down there? Well, <laughs> I, I've never met anyone in all the years I've covered the Home Run Derby who likes it more than Pete Alonso. One of the Mets told me a couple years ago that he wanted to win the Home Run Derby more than he wanted to win the Rookie of the Year. And now you see him back here imploring the crowd, screaming, let's go, after he hit 35 homers, one of which went 514 feet. Typical Pete Alonso. He loves this event. Yeah, there's no question. I think you're right. And 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 it, it comes about it genuinely. You know, he he goes and he's utilizing this bat that it's just got uh, all these different designs on it, which is cool. And I, he's just so animated throughout the whole thing singing. Well, he loves it. I mean, and just going back to that rookie year in New York, how many rookies come to New York and they're like saying, bring it on, bring everything on. I want all the attention. I'm going to challenge this team. I'm going to challenge myself. Let's go bleep Mets. I yeah. mean, that whole thing, it was right out of the gates. So Salvador Perez has started. He's the all-star starter at catcher. He's got 11 first half homers. And getting a chance to participate in the home run derby here. Drives one out towards right. And he's got his first. This one in the air right field, high and deep and gone. Nice. 21 home runs at the break for Salvador Perez. Rear high is 27. And Sal, again, the all-star starter, really good first half. 275, 300, 501, the slash crushes that one deep to left. He's got six, make it seven. And Miguel Garcia 
is throwing to Salvador Perez, who is their BP pitcher in Kansas City. Lefty on the mound. So Pete Alonso with 35. Eduardo Escobar going out there. Herman Marquez. Yeah, Rich Merrifield's teammate. Salvador Perez with nine. He's got 144 to go. That's just tough. I mean, the guy, you're following the guy that hits 30, 30, what was it, 31 he finished? 35. 35 is what right. Alonzo? Yeah. That's tough to follow. That's just a tough guy. Yeah. You know? Salvador Perez hits a liner to left. Thing. He's hit a couple of balls to right field, and it almost looks like he's pulling off of that have gone out. Yeah. So that's some fade to the opposite field. It just has some staying power to get up and over the fence. Sort of flatten things out a little bit. Some line drive staying in the ballpark. High, shallow pop. This guy, one of the great personalities in the game. And he drives this one out towards left center field, and that'll go. The liner to left field. That's out of here. He's got 10. Another one in the air. Make it 11. This to dead center. It could be number 12. And it is. 51 seconds left for Salvador Perez. Drives one out to center field. And that one is a homer. He's put together a pretty nice round. Again, the first round record, Pete Alonzo with 35. And we, we both noticed what was just that experience we saw Pete Alonso standing a little more upright, didn't want to fatigue the legs, and just knowing what kind of endurance you've got to have in this thing. And Sal is a big guy, but he is tired right now. Yeah. And, and you look at his stance, Boo. I mean, look like at he's where he's at. But he's fouling balls off. Yeah, but just you look tired. as well. He's on his legs yeah. more, and that's gonna, you're going to run out of gas sooner. I'm trying to take advantage, use that leverage, stay a little taller on the backside, get some elevated pitches. That way you can meet them right on plane with some backspin and they carry over the fence. So he gets the minute bonus time. And a little meeting down there. With some help from, is that Omar Narvaez? That is who that is. Yep. A very deserving all-star. Omar Narvaez in the first half of the Brewers arguably been their best position player. He went healthy. Colton Wong's been very good, but Omar Narvaez has been really good for the Brewers. Yeah, and a later add, Willie Adamas, I mean, he's been, yeah, no he's doubt. become the heart and hustle guy for that team. Everything changed for the Brewers once they got him. It was just amazing. So a minute for Salvador Perez. He's got his work cut out for him. A magenta ball line to left. And that one will fall short of the fence. And now another lace towards right. That'll get out. He's got 18 homers. Now to center. Make it 19. In the air, deep left field. Gone. 20 homers now. Make it 21. The pitch. Swing and a drive, hooking down the line, and it's gone. It's a good Stop showing. 22, really good effort by Salvador Perez. Another back to backs to left center field. Missed a great run. Trevor Story hit 20. 
and he advanced. This one crushed out towards left center. How about Salvador Perez? He's going to end up with 28 homers. That's going to be the second most <laughs> that we've seen. That's just and he up. gets eliminated. That is messed up. By the way, back to Pete Alonso. If I'm reading this right on our Slack channel, Pete Alonso hit 35 homers. He swung 40 times. Take That's that, impressive. Take that in for a second. That is impressive. So... Of the 40 swings he took, he hit 35 out. That's incredible. So we'll pause here as Alonzo advances to wait the winner of our next matchup, Juan Soto and Shohei Otani. Baseball's biggest stars are here in Denver, Colorado. The MLB All-Star Game presented by MasterCard. Tomorrow on Fox at ESPN Radio. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern. And Kirchin down on the field with us as we pause between hitters. We're changing things up a little bit. And yeah, Juan Soto is next. It's going to be interesting with Juan Soto because this is a guy that, I mean, he uses the entire field, hits a lot of balls to the opposite field for home runs. And again, you talk about the fatigue in these rounds and being able to have the endurance and it just seems like it fares so much better for guys that can pull the ball maybe he makes an adjustment in his swing he's had a shortened season this year he spent a little time on the injured list and Juan Soto one of the things that Juan Soto this year that's been curious you look at last year he led the majors in OPS last year, but yet even still, Singy, he hit the ball on the ground a decent amount. And this year, his issue has been he's hitting the ball on the ground too much. The thing where he's coming up short this season is the slug is less than what you'd expect and what you'd hope for. Now, you're still talking about a kid that doesn't turn 23 until the end of October. He's an all-star this year. He's got 11 homers. And a guy who really controls the strike zone as he throws. How about this? Left on left. It's Kevin Long, their hitting coach. As we're underway, and Alonzo is your leader for the day. One. That one by Soto goes the other way, and it's gone. He's got 34. This one crushed the center. Soto blasts one, and that'll go. One line left field and gone. Soto swings, lifts one in the air out towards center field. That's out of here. Here's a high drive out towards right center into the third deck. Another headed that way. Trying to find that pull stroke consistently. I still can't forget the home run he hit off of Garrett Cole in the World Series to the opposite field up yep. on the tracks. Man, look at him using left center field. That'll go. He's hit one 520. That is the longest homer in this competition. 145 to go on the timer. And now time is called. And here come his Nationals teammates, Max Scherzer, Kyle Schwarber. And Fernando Tatis Jr. over there, along with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Trey Turner. Vladdy looks good, doesn't he? He works so hard he in the off season great. to lose weight, get in better shape. And you always wonder, Boog, a guy coming in, once he gets back into sort of that comfortable flow, does he put the weight back on? But to his credit, he looks as good as he did going into spring training. And obviously, Juan Soto, a guy from the Dominican Republic, who is as talented a hitter as we've seen come along. I mean, when you're talking about 
guys that the only people you can comp them to are Ted Williams. It makes it challenging. I mean, he's 22 years old, and his lifetime on base percentage is 414. He's got nine homers, and he has hit the longest home run so far in this competition. And back underway, the clock is running. He's got nine homers. Here's a high fly ball, right field. This one crushed to right. The other one is gone. That one's gone. Here's one hit Get to up. center. That is gone. You just foul one back at us? Coming close. How about that? He's got a dozen. And he's already got the bonus time. fly ball hit the air towards right center field and that ball there it is there's another is one out of here here's one out towards the forest in center field and that'll go oh. the that over the under on longest homer was 519.5 so if you had the over nicely done there it is my fly ball center field doesn't have enough you bet. He's got 15 homers. 30 seconds. Soto drives this one. High and deep out towards right center. And that's gone into the second deck. 16 now. Kevin Long deals. Swing and a high fly ball out towards right center. I mean, high. And deep and gone. And he just scorched one back at the L screen. And Kevin Long had to duck. Time has expired. He's got one minute left. It's a good showing. You know he's going to crank out at least five, six more in this next round. We'll put him somewhere in the mid-20s. And it'll be what everybody's been waiting for the next Hitter in Shohei Otani. Max Scherzer making his way. Is Max Scherzer going to throw? No. Max Scherzer, Kyle Schwarber, and Trey Turner out to give Kevin Long some water and a little bit of rest. Still has a minute to go. Juan Soto with 18 homers. There's just something about watching him hit that is special. The 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio is brought to you by Napa. Whether it's next day delivery or getting involved in their local communities, Napa goes above and beyond to serve you because their motor never quits. That's Napa know-how. Still to come, Shohei Otani. Trey Mancini getting past Matt Olson. He'll face Trevor Story. In one semifinal, Pete Alonso with 35 homers. He did it in 40 swings. Soto has 18 and the longest homer in the competition. But he's got a minute to go. This guy's got a little gray. And now Juan Soto, the 22-year-old, digs back in on the left side. And away we go. Magenta ball drilled to center. And that's gone. Ooh. The last one just hit the base of the wall. Next one out towards center field. I think it quite has the distance. It doesn't. Got another popped out to center he's got 20 now this one hit pretty well out towards center field and that leaves the park he swings and mashes one to right center into the second deck 13 seconds left and he's got 22 homers Let's get a little more loft uh, getting under it uh, spinning off it there you go no Short. one more and he punches one 
for a base hit into left field. 22 homers for Juan Soto, who pumps his fist. And still to come, Shohei Otani. Tim Kirkchin, you're standing down there right by Shohei. I cannot believe how calm this guy is. The entire home run derby seems to be about him. And all he's doing is laughing and smiling and talking to everyone and seems unbothered by the fact that Juan Soto just hit a ball 520 and hit over 20 home runs. He just talked to somebody on his cell phone and he said, thanks, see ya, like that. He is so calm, I can't believe it. But maybe this is the strength of Otani. Nothing bothers him, even under the biggest circumstances. Tim, would you say he's, what would you say? Is he like two Kirkjans? Like if you were to describe him size-wise? <laughs> oh, height-wise, he's three. And size-wise, he's at least two, yeah. I I've stood next to him several times. It's remarkable how big he is. And to think that he runs like he runs at that yeah, size, that's, a good point. that's the most impressive part. Yeah, it's a great point. It is one of the things about his skill set that probably doesn't get talked about enough. I mean, we know about the arm and the power but he can really run, and he does it, and it comes in a frame of 6'4", 210 pounds. You know what's funny, too, is that I can remember talking to a scout who watched him, and the cop he gave body-wise was Mark Gubiza, and now Mark Gubiza gets to call his games. And he's going to be the starting pitcher for the AL and the leadoff hitter. And now here he comes. This is the show. It is. What a first half. 33 home runs for Shohei Otani. That's the most homers hit by a Japanese-born player. Now think about it for a second. The most homers hit by a Japanese-born player in a season. The previous record was 31 by Hideki Matsui. It'll be Jason Brown, their BP catcher, who is gonna throw to him. Or I should say their bullpen catcher, Jason Brown. And the catcher is Ipe Mitsuhara, who is their interpreter. So Mitsuhara behind the plate, Jason Brown, the bullpen catcher, will throw to Otani. Number to beat, 22 for Otani. Yep. And here we go. He swings and lines one foul down the right side. Wow, it comes <laughs> off his back, huh? <laughs> A liner to right, and that short hops the wall. Oh, wow. Now a hooking Still line in. drive. Ah, too many line drives, boo. Too many liners. Those are doubles and triples, but it's the home run derby right here. Chalk just flew up, liner to right. Still doesn't have a homer yet. <laughs> he's got a couple doubles, though. There he goes. Ah, it's not going to work. He's got he's to retool. It's unreal. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's having some trouble. He swings here and drives one out towards right center field. And that one is gone, so he's on the board. Got to get those hands through, coming around the ball a little bit. That's why he's hooking those balls down the right field line. If it was a game, he'll take it all day long because they're knocks. Yeah, he's, he's just snapping. What about an early timeout here? Yeah. He should have. I think right now, just stop it. Here's a liner hooking down the line, it's and it pole. hits the pole. Home run. There it Here's a drive out to right, and that one will go. It's gone. He's got four. I think someone should tell him he can take the timeout. There's a ball ripped to right. And now he takes the timeout. 
Well, he looks a little tired, Boog. He is throwing his head back. He's got a big smile, and this is a little bit more. I know Tim was talking about how relaxed he was, taking phone calls and everything else, and stepped into this, and he's realizing, oh, wow, there's a little more. So maybe he was saving it up, and now he's starting to feel that stress a little bit. Yeah, his hands are on his knees right now. And Jared Walsh, someone is talking to him on the phone. They said it was Mike Trout. So, ready to get back going, five homers. Mm -mm. And he swings and lines one foul. Here's a high fly ball. That's thrilled. That's gone into the way into the upper deck. Now he's getting into a groove. That's right field. That's out of here. Eight homers. He's got the bonus time. That's He's got too many line drives. He's got too many kind of snap hooks down the right field line. I'll tell you what, though, Singy, he's still got 45 seconds plus the minute, and he needs 14 to tie. So I, I still think for the moment he's okay. He's got to get a few more. He's got to finish this round, I think, around 14 home runs. Down the line and off the bunting of the third deck off that facade. This one is smoked out towards right center. That'll get out of here. All right, he's back in this thing. That's to right. This one is blasted. That's deep and gone into the third deck in right center. How oh, far we didn't swing. That? We got one more pitch with the talk going out. We had a swung and had a chance there to add on. 217 at 16 no that's solid he's in a really good position to get Juan Soto his last two were 513 and 500 six to tie seven to win it hands on the knees bent over mouth full of water and just a big grin as he looks over the American League side right now boo and this guy's supposed to start tomorrow on the mound. <laughs> he looks tired. <laughs> Better jump in the hyperbaric chamber after this is all over. Well, lend of yours. Maybe uh, Troy Tulowitzki left his after he left. Here comes the crowd. A minute to go. He needs six to tie seven to beat Juan Soto and set up our second semifinal. He crushes a magenta ball to right, gone. Here's another, blasted to right, way back. Out of here. 18 now. Oh. A liner to right center. There you go. This is crushed. Deep into right center and gone. There's another to right center. He's got 20. I don't know. That's short. 20 seconds. He's got, uh oh, he's got to retool. 17 seconds. He needs two to tie. Uh -oh. There's a line drive. Oh, the pressure is on. Oh, boom. Seven seconds. There's Seven. one out towards right center. Gotta go. Here's another Gotta go. towards right center. Get this off. Nope. Uh -huh. He's got 22, and it's a tie. He's tired. He is tired. He is so tired. So it'll be a 60-second swing off, tied at 22, no stoppage. Players on both sides applauding and appreciating the effort. 
Well, what's good here is they got to switch things up. Kevin Long going to throw to Juan Soto, so they've got to change up the L screen, give these guys a little more time perhaps to catch their breath. Particularly Shohei Otani needs it the most. I mean, Otani is crouched down. He's kind of on his knees. And so a one minute, no clock stoppage. And if you're wondering if it's still tied, then a swing off at three swings per batter until a winner is determined. So it'll be Soto for a minute. How many do you hit? Otani for a minute. How many do you hit? Our winners already, Mancini, Story, and Alonzo. Boog, I didn't think this was going to be very close. I thought Shohei Otani was just going to run away with just yeah. before anybody took any swings. Even with the 22 that Soto put up, I'm thinking Otani's just going to blow past that. Sure. So now there's some light there for Juan Soto. He was the underdog coming in, but he sees it all right. Otani struggled a little bit to get his 22. He's just got his little kind of rock that you'll see him do when he takes the pitch and he stares out at the pitcher. He just did that. So I think he's feeling like the Soto. You know it's the Soto shuffle. Yeah, I can knock this guy off. All right, underway. Clock is ticking. Ooh. Here's one crushed out towards center field. That one is back and it's gone. So he's got 23. Now a pop up left field that'll fall short liner to right he's added one and has 23. pops another one up so he'll have trouble one. getting in the groove he just lays his bat just in plane and it just looks like it's in there forever yeah it does it's it looks beautiful. like he's swinging a 50 inch bat it's beautiful the pitch Swing and a ball crushed to center, and that one is gonna go. Here's one tattooed out towards right field. And that's off the facade of the second deck. He's got 26. 27. Left field, this should go. And so Soto finishes with 28. So 28 for Juan Soto. And we'll see what Otani can deliver. The T-Mobile Home Run Derby here at Coors Field. And it'll be Jason Brown, their bullpen catcher for the Angels. And we told you that the cool little twist that Ipe Mitsuhara, who is Otani's interpreter, is actually catching for his rounds. Well, one of the advantages here, we know the ball flies in Colorado here in Denver, but it's also thinner air, so fatigue can set in. Yeah, so it's kind of point. that trade off between the two. Yep. And I think we're seeing that side of Otani. He's still, I mean, even with Soto taking his round, he was still back there behind home plate on the warning track looking like he was trying to catch his breath. Yeah. So he needs six to tie, and then seven will get him past Juan Soto. He just crushed one off the camera that's out in front of home plate. Lines another into right field. There's a homer deep to right. And that one head towards the top level. Wow. There it is. He's in it. He's in it. He hits another to right field and gone off the facade in right center. He's got 25. Make it 26. Look out right field. Another to right. Out towards right center. 
Next one is it. The next one wins it. He's got 13, 12. There it is. Get up. to the right. Is it high no. enough? No. <laughs> oh, no. Pops Five seconds. Oh, he's got one in the air to center. That doesn't have the there distance. Is. Get up. Line to right. No. <laughs> no How way. about this? They're tied at 28. That's just. And it's going to be a three swing off. Oh my god. Otani and Soto hug, and Otani is gassed. Wow. Yeah, he's, I mean, I think Pete Alonso wants Shohei Otani to win. Because it, looking at how fatigued Otani is, Alonso will just run through him in the next round. You don't want Soto to win this. Soto's laughing. He's. He's not sucking air or anything. He's good to go. Otani's bent over at the waist still over towards the third base dugout. I love that Tatis and Guerrero are going over and loving on Soto. I mean, just to me, that the, the talent level with those three guys and the friendship, and obviously... Tatis having such an amazing year, and well, Tatis and Guerrero, the sons of amazing Major League players. And certainly Guerrero, a son of a Hall of Famer, and Tatis at his peak was a good big leaguer. So it'll be three swings. Soto climbs in, we're tied at 28. Long is ready, so Soto. Here's the pitch. Takes it. Long fire. Swing and a high fly ball out towards right center field. That one back, and that one is gone. Into the bullpen. He's got two swings left. Soto back in, long delivers, and he takes it low and away. Next pitch, swing and a high fly ball out towards right center field. Forget it, into the third deck out there. Wow. Such a smart hitter. I mean, this is a derby, but even the way that he's approached like these last couple of rounds, yeah. like, he knows exactly what he's trying to do to win this thing. I think it's over. He is, I think all, so two is good. I, I'm with you. The pitch. <laughs> Kevin Long throws Kevin one Long up just and... threw one behind him. And there's a big smile on his face. Here's the pitch. Swing and a drive center field. Did he go three for three? He did! Into the forest in center field. He just he wanted that kid is so talented, it is scary. Otani knows it. Otani knows it's over. I mean, he's still trying to catch his breath. Wow. That's about as impressive as it gets. Three swings, three homers. Juan Soto, you're something else. Yeah. I mean, folks, Otani pacing a little bit. He's got his hand on his hip. He's still, you can see the shoulders coming up. He's breathing. He's gassed. He's, it's over. There's no way. He, I'm, I'll say it right now. He's not hitting three home runs. And it could be over in the first swing. So if he misses it, it's over. All and right. the way that he's been snap hooking balls down the right field line. So here comes Shohei. Pretty good battle. They went, what, 23? And then 20, 22, then 28. And here we go. Three swings, got to hit it out. The pitch, and he takes the pitch. And 
that's it. And Soto advances and beats Otani. And they hug at the plate. Juan Soto beats Shohei Otani. And the semis are set. It'll be Mancini and Story, Alonzo and Soto. And that was really entertaining. And we'll continue with more. This is the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and ESPN app. Fresh Family Meyer. Your new Westfield Meyer store has opened its doors. It's where you'll find fresh, high quality meats, seafood, and farm fresh produce delivered daily. It's where you'll find family, a huge selection of home, apparel, and electronics brands at low Meyer prices. From our family to every member of yours. All for you, all in one place. Drop by or shop online at Meyer.com or in the Meyer app. We'll be here for you at your fresh family, Westfield Meyer. Bundling home and car insurance with GEICO is so easy, your neighbors are probably already doing it. But who? Look for the signs. Do they have a home and or car? Are they saving lots of money? Do they seem unusually happy? Do they have a child named GEICO? GEICO! Dinner time! Have they recently purchased a drone? That's unrelated to the GEICO thing. I just really like to try one. But if you notice these other things, you may want to ask them how easy it was to bundle with GEICO. Bundling is easy with GEICO. Just ask your neighbors the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry with payments as low as $68 per month or no interest, no payments for 18 months. That's right. Get the bathroom of your dreams now and pay for it in 2021. Call 1-800-779-4178 for a free no obligation price quote. That's 1-800-779-4178. When you want quality bathroom products at a great price, it's got to be BCI Bath & Shower. That's 1-800-779-4178. Anyone who has ever needed self-storage knows what a hassle it can be. You have to rent or borrow a truck and then find someone to help you move your stuff. And let's face it, moving furniture and heavy items without damaging them isn't easy. Renting the unit is worse. The hidden fees and admin costs are scarier than the dingy facilities you're leaving your stuff in. Why not use Closet Box instead? Closet Box is self-storage without leaving home. They'll pick up your belongings, store them securely, and bring any item back when you need it. The best part? Unlike traditional self-storage, you only pay for what you store. No paying for unused storage space. Closet Box's background check storage movers are licensed, bonded, and insured and will take care of all of the heavy lifting. Closet Box's local storage centers are temperature controlled and monitored 24-7. Closet Box has an A-plus rating from the BBB. Call 877-233-5696 now for the season's best rates. Get $50 off first month storage using code RADIO50. That's 877-233-5696. 877-233-5696. Who doesn't want instant gratification? If you're looking for satisfaction, there's no need to wait. With Credit Karma Money, you could win cash reimbursements for debit purchases. And when you make a purchase between July 1st and July 23rd, you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win $1 million. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and have the chance to start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant karma sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank Incorporated. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. You're listening to the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Back here in Denver, Coors Field. It's the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio, brought to you by Capital One Shopping. Capital One Shopping searches for and applies available coupon codes. What's in your wallet? Savings and available coupons vary. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, Tim Kirkchen back here at Coors. Our semifinals are set, as it will be Trey Mancini and Trevor Story against, or Trey Mancini against Trevor Story, and then Pete Alonso against Juan Soto. And Singy, let's talk a little bit in the first half. What did you expect in terms of the National League West? And oh. How surprised are you? that the Giants are where they are. Well, you are tracking. We are, like, vibing because that's exactly where I was pulling off. That's been, for me, the biggest surprise of this first half. The San Francisco Giants and their consistency, dude. It's not like, all right, the division, you know, the team, other teams haven't played well and they've just gotten lucky and taken advantage of it. 
the Giants have been extremely consistent. And, you know, checking in at the break, 57 and 32, a run differential. It's not as good as the Dodgers, but they're plus 116 in terms of run differential. And there's a Mike Farron side. You know, we got to stop it for a second. This yes. is like Mr. Baseball coming this in the is booth. What I'm talking My about. man. I haven't seen him in two years. What's up, boy? He's the voice of baseball yes. on Sirius XM Radio, and he came at the perfect time. Yeah, he did. Because I'm talking San Francisco Giants. He's an Arizona Diamondbacks guy, and I know it's been tough. Books had a little tough stretch as well. Yes. 11 games, losing streak, so you guys can kind of hog it out. <laughs> but you've seen the San Francisco Giants a ton this year. I have. We, you guys got me? We got you. We got you. Just so, yeah, I have, gonna... I have um, I've seen, seen them a bunch. And I think they're pretty good. Yes. Um, I think they're uh, a little bit underappreciated um, just in the sense that, that, you know, listen, they don't necessarily have the sexiest young names. Yeah. But they've got a lot of those veteran players who have a track record of performance. Obviously, we see Brandon Crawford here. We'll see Buster Posey. Or we're supposed to see Buster Posey here. Brandon Belt had a good year before injury. Evan Longoria is going to be back. And I think one of the things that Gabe Kapler has done a really good job of is maximizing their production, finding ways to be able to use a really flexible roster to get those guys rest. I haven't encountered a whole lot of teams, even the best Dodger ones, where they never feel like they're short a bat on the bench, right? Like he gets the platoon advantage wherever he wants. Lefty right. comes in, he's got the righty that's ready for it. Righty comes in, he's got the lefty that's ready for it. So. Yeah. I, I think it, they've been a really impressive team. I think they're absolutely for real. Their starters are great. They'll get bullpen help at the deadline. But I, I think it's a really, really fun team, and I think they can push both San Diego and Los Angeles. How about Kevin Gosman? How about him? I mean, it's done real. Well, what he unlocked in Cincinnati, I think, was pretty impressive. Yeah. You know, the, the month that he spent there with Derek Johnson, I think, really helped to get him back to some of his strengths. He's always been a good fastball change-up guy with a couple of different changes. And he's never been a big breaking ball one, so why worry about those when you can just focus on moving your fastball around and using a great splitter and change? And, man, he's been outstanding. But really, all those guys, Di scofani has been outstanding for them, too. That's something, though, that I think the Giants overall, if you're looking at organizationally the stamp that they have, they're starting to get this rep as... This is the place where guys in the middle of their career who are looking for some type of adjustment, some type of tweak, can go there and blossom. That's one of the things that has happened so far. Mm -hmm. Guys have gone there, and their pitching development, not just young guys, but guys who have already had big league experience, they've helped. Drew Pomerantz, Drew Smiley yep. both come to mind as being guys that had big contracts after leaving there. I completely agree. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens when they start layering in some of the pitching that they're drafting and developing, too. I'm just surprised that this is a team that, as of the other day, was leading the National League in runs per game. Yeah. I mean, with, with a lineup that is not going to blow you away, but they get on base and they, they slug. slug. And that they ballpark. Slug. Yeah. Remember when they used to win, it was torture, they called it, because yeah. they'd yeah. score one more run than the opponent. That's not the case. They can hit some balls out of the park, that's for sure. Farron, we love you. i got to start calling some home runs again. Hey, here, this buddy. has been fun so far tonight. Yeah. Uh, hang on one second. Here's Trevor Story, who is in the semifinals, and it is Story facing Trey Mancini. And we're underway. Mike Redman, who delivers to him. Mike Redman, a guy who is familiar with this spot, throwing a BP. He used to throw to Giancarlo Stanton back when a story drives one over the wall and left and now he's got two and mike redmond started to throw then stopped where's trevor story gonna end up that's a great question I, he's gonna help somebody he's gonna help time. someone down the stretch and then he's gonna get paid as a free agent this winter yes mm -hmm. i don't think a lot of casual baseball fans are quite as familiar with how good this guy totally is. agree He's one of the best all-around players in the National League. Yeah. But I think a case could be made. I think that going out into the market, that there are some teams that would consider paying Story more than Seager or Correa. Oh, I agree. I don't know that it will happen, but I'm saying some would consider. I think he's the best defender yeah. of the three. Yeah, I mean, best defender of the three. He's the, the best, he's the best runner. Yeah. Yep. 
This one really cut down his strikeouts. Ripped to left field and gone. I, I mean, I, I think he's a pretty complete player. And, you know, I really liked him. We were, we were talking a lot about that free agent class that was supposed to come up in those five shortstops. I had story right behind Lindor on my list. I think an overall talent. Yep. What are the chances he goes back to his home state? Texas, maybe the Astros, maybe the Rangers. Yeah, I mean, I think the Astros, if they lost Correa, yeah. maybe. But it depends on what their payroll is going to look like. And I think with the Rangers, how, how close are they to competing? You know, is that going to be the right time to go? Or does he want to go someplace where he has a chance to win now? Well, but you know he's, gonna, he's not signing for any less than six years. It could be as much as, what, ten years? Story? I mean, it's going to be a lot. Six to ten. Yeah. So you got some time for them to get it together. Sure. But let's say Corey Seager goes someplace else. Well, the Dodgers need a shortstop, yeah. and they've seen a lot of them. Yeah. You know, unless they trust you having luck there. Yeah. Timeout down on the field. Story with five homers. And here we are, round two, our semifinals. And again, same deal. Time, three minutes. The finals is two minutes. And you get an additional amount of bonus time with one homer of 475 feet or longer he has not done that this round he swings and lifts one in the air to right field and that's short of the wall but here's one lying to left and that hits the fence the line drive left center hits the wall this one's going to go out towards left center field and that will be home run number six for Trevor Story. Here's another down the line, curling, yep. gone. Blasted to center, that'll make its way into the forest out there. I always fantasize there's somebody like living out <laughs> in the forest. It's actually, Ryan's billboards, Rocky's broadcast. I, 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 you know what it's that. like? It's it's like the Shaq commercials for the general where he's out there and he's cooking the skunk. And yeah. It's like it's just like he can appear from those trees with all that yep. garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Eight homers down, nine for Story. Twenty-five seconds left. And again, this is our first semifinal. Mancini waits to go. This one's crushed to left center. And that one's over the fence and gone. Ten seconds. A liner to center field that's short. Five seconds. Drilled to center, and it hits the fence. And that last one in the air towards center. He did not hit one for 75, so he gets only 30 seconds of bonus time. John Chomby, Chris Singleton, Mike Farron, kind enough to join us. Trevor Story with 10 homers. Farron, what do you got happening during uh, the All-Star festivities? So I did our on-field pregame. It was our lead-in for you on MLB Network Radio. Yes. So there's nothing I like better than being your opening act. So, That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll do the same thing ahead of the derby, ahead of, real, or ahead of the game. Had a great sit-down today that's going to run tomorrow afternoon with Lance Lynn and Kyle Gibson. Just 45 minutes with those guys talking about being all-stars the season so far. Right. These guys have been postseason analysts for us, so a lot of fun. Oh, that's good. awesome. Great being here. Good. That is awesome. Futures, uh, draft, everything's been great. How good are the White Sox? They're pretty good. They need to get healthy. Yeah. They need, and they're they, getting healthy. They need a second baseman. They're going to get both their guys back, Eloy and then three guys. Some, yeah, because they got to get yeah. Yasmani Grandal back too. But I think they need a little bit more depth. But I think if you take their top eight pitchers in a postseason series, I mean that's yep. locked down. Move down the season. Go outside the division. You know, looking at their record outside the division because they dominate that central, right? Yeah, I mean I think that they're still not there offensively, and that's yeah. a big reason why. Yeah. Story back underway, and he whacks one out towards center field, and that one is going to find the seats. He's got 11. I'm not going to lie, I'm not that big a fan of the magenta ball. I don't no. see it so great. No. Left field, in the air, towards left center, and that one midway up the bleachers and out of here. Oh, the ball's dark. It's... Yeah. Like seizure inducing yeah. you know, as it's spinning coming up there his final swing is ripped out towards right center and short he finishes with a dozen 
So Trevor Story will sit and watch Trey Mancini right here. We're going to pause 10 seconds. Station ID, you're listening to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Great thanks to our guy Mike Farron for stopping by. Love that man. I had my headset off. Yeah, you did. Oh, Al turned me off. Like, look at Al. Yeah. Al Rosenberg back there. He's paying attention, man. He's the best. Well, Al that is always paying is, attention. He, ever since he switched to the iPad, he's not he, doing it on an iPad. He's not doing the iPad. I thought he was doing it. You knew iPad. he wasn't doing the iPad. Leave him alone. The 2021 T Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio is brought to you by Geico. Whether you rent or own, Geico makes it easy to bundle home and car insurance. Go to geico.com today. That brightened my day right there. Mike Farron brightens my day. I haven't seen Mike Farron in two years. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. It is a little bit of Twilight Zone. Seeing folks we haven't seen in a long time. Here's Mancini now who advanced by beating Matt Olson. Story hit a dozen. Got his first one. Has that got enough to center? Yes. So he's got two. You have to wonder a little bit. Trey Mancini was the first guy in the competition. When's the last time that he hit? I mean... It would be an hour and 40 minutes-ish. Yeah, that's, not, that's not great on the body, but No. Body starts to go into recovery mode. You want to kind of relax and lay it down, and now you got to get it back up. That's tough. That's a great point. That's a really good point. Mancini swings, rips one to left field. That's way back there, and that's out of here. Home run Trey Mancini to make it five. Another one leaves the park. That's six out to left field. Mancini swings and drives one left field. That's gone. It's seven. Solid contact here out to left center, but it hits the base of the wall out at the 390 marker. And now Mancini will call time. 139 to go. He's all right. He's in a good spot. 139. They don't have some extra time. So Trevor Story waiting to see if Trey Mancini will pass him. Right now, Mancini does not have the additional 30 seconds. The most homers in any round has been Alonzo at 35. The longest homer was Shohei Otani at 520, I believe. Oh, Juan Soto at 520. Back to work. 0 for 2 on the first two swings. That one might have enough to right center field. Does not. He's got a next one ripped towards left center, and that's gone. One thirteen to go, eight homers for Mancini. And a tray with a liner out to left center. Swing and a high fly ball out towards left center field. That one back, that one going, that's gone. Nine for Mancini. This to left, it's got a chance. That's 10. A low liner that hits the fence. He's got 11. Mm. He needs two. Tighten it up so you don't need any bonus time. He's got 37 seconds left. Chuck Ristano as he blasts one left, and we are tied. Center field, this one's back there. That's gone, and it's oh. over. Trey Mancini, what a story. 
16 months ago, diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. And he's out here and into the finals in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Wow. He eliminates Trevor Story. Great, great stuff. Managed to put it together and the end of his first round, he hit 24. He was starting to get a little fatigued, and we could see it there at times, but, man, that's just perseverance as we've seen in his personal life. Also, in a fatiguing type of competition right here. Nice job by Trey Mancini. So Mancini has advanced, and he awaits the winner of Soto and Alonzo. This is the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and ESPN app. I share the players bring some skill to the game, but if I don't put them in my lineup, who cares? Not me. I'm Eric Rubino, fantasy baseball GM and league runner-up two of the last nine years. I use the progressive Name Your Price tool with options based on my budget. And for a guy that's used to being in control, it fits. Like this runner-up t-shirt. Champ gets a trophy, but you can't wear a trophy. Boom. Get options based on your budget with Progressive, even if you're not a legend in your own mind. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Claudia's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. I had just moved to a new city and barely even knew where the grocery store was yet. When my car wouldn't start one morning, I didn't know who to ask about local shops. But I remembered a name from back home, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I called and they pointed me to a great mechanic just down the street. Now, I feel a little more at home. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. <laughs> It's time for MLB Pitch, Hit, and Run, presented by MLB Network. The official youth skills competition of Major League Baseball. Kids, have you ever wanted to compete with the best? This is your chance to take the field and show everyone what you've got. Sign up today for your chance to play your way to the 2021 Pitch, Hit, and Run National Finals. Sign up for free at PitchHitRun.com. Who doesn't want instant gratification? If you're looking for satisfaction, there's no need to wait. With Credit Karma Money, you could win cash reimbursements for debit purchases. And when you make a purchase between July 1st and July 23rd, you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win $1 million. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and have the chance to start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant karma sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank Incorporated. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. My sweet cheeks feeling squeaky clean. When Charmin's rolling behind the scenes, Charmin TV gives me those cheeky clean feels. That ultra strong hype is all for real. Those TV rolls got me a Charmin clean to guess. Cheek to cheek feeling oh so shook. Charmin ultra strong just cleans better. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Scott Van Pelt here. If you haven't checked out the podcast, SV Pod, what are you waiting for? We're like right directly in the flight path for helicopters flying in and out of D.C. Otis the dog barking at deliveries. High level intellectual conversation. Some gambling talk, talking with athletes, celebrities, musicians, and more. Also, we got my guy Stanford Steve riding shotgun, trying to keep me out of the ditches. Download and subscribe to SV Pod wherever you get your podcast. We certainly appreciate it. Rate, review, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Welcome back. The 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio is brought to you by Credit Karma. Visit creditkarma.com slash win money to open your free account and start winning instant karma. Credit Karma money progress starts here as we await the Second semifinal, Pete Alonso and Juan Soto, John Shambi and Chris Singleton. And how about Trey Mancini, Chris Singleton? Pretty cool story. A guy who's battled cancer, is a really good big league player, and getting a chance to possibly take home the home run derby crown. Uh, I think, you know, when you come into just a huge event like this, and if Trey Mancini 
is able to do it. Like, what was the story coming in? Shohei Otani, the expectation was for him to win. Incredible year. He's been pitching. He's been hitting. Otani's out of the home run derby, folks. Now it's Trey Mancini that could have that story that everybody walks away from these couple of days here in Denver and is like, wow, this is, this is what sport is all about. Like, rapping human beings, inspiration, and what Trey Mancini has even done to this point. And he said coming into it, I want to show people that there's life after a diagnosis, there's life after chemotherapy. And man, even if he doesn't win it, he's already done. I think more than anyone could have expected him to do it. Tim Kirkjian, a really likable young man, Trey Mancini. We mentioned the connection between he and his Absolutely. BP pitcher, Tr Chuck Cristano. A Absolutely. The highlight of spring training for me was his first at bat in spring training. He got a standing ovation. And then on opening day, Alex Cora of the Red Sox said, I don't care if this guy hits 180 or 320. He's the comeback player of the year already. When he came up with the Orioles, Buck Showalter, they all nicknamed him Good Good because any question you asked of Trey Mancini, the answer was always the same. Good Good. How'd you do last night? Good Good. How was your bat? Good Good. Well, this story that he is telling now isn't Good Good. It is Great Great, and he is one of the best kids you'll ever meet. Yeah, he's a lot of fun, and he awaits the winner of this semifinal one, Soto and Pete Alonso. So a couple of bangers going head to head as Soto will hit first. How about the uh, fan base there in Maryland and DC if it ends up being Soto and Mancini? That's right in Tim Kirchin land. No with these two teams, Beltway. Soto climbs in and ready to go, the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out towards left center field, but that one playable. And underway in our second semifinal for Juan Soto. Mm. I'll tell you, it was impressive. Three swings, that three swing off. This one clobbered yes. to right field and into that third deck. Look out. Jeez. I just thought it was so impressive hitting homers every swing in those three swings yeah i mean but that's that's just the the focus yeah. that this kid has I and mean, yep. he knows how to win he knows how to beat the opponent he swings and lifts one in the air out towards left center field and that one finds the seats That's a low line. That's going to get out of here in left center field. Into center field, just to the left of the batter's eye. It's just, it's, it's poetry in motion, folks. That's right. I mean, it, he gets the, the bat on plane, and it just moves through the zone back towards the pitcher. It seems like it's there forever. And he asks for time, 145 to go. He's got seven homers. And everybody comes out. Tatis comes out. Guerrero comes out. Tatis in charge of the shoulder massage. Someone's fanning him. It's interesting. They're showing Pete Alonso. He's just taking some swings off a tee, off an elevated tee. Mm -hmm. And I'd be interested in, is that where he wants the ball? Yes. Is that what he, that's where he wants it. So he, he wants it up. You'll exert less energy. Interesting. Yep. And that's why he's standing taller. We saw in the first round and he just went off 35 home runs. He's standing taller, Boo. He wants the pitch elevated. You don't want the pitch elevated when it's game time because it's coming in at 98. It's hard to handle. But this speed, put it up there. You have to exert less energy got it. to get their backspin launch angle and you can move on to the next pitch. Because if it's down, then you got to get into your legs. Yep. Okay. Here's Soto now. Seven homers, 145 to go. He doesn't have the extra 30 yet. Heard you're buying a car. I brought my calculator. Dad, I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. I found my car online and got pre-qualified instantly. Instead of all that. You know those things impact your credit score. Didn't impact my credit score, Dad. Now I'm going to the dealership for a test drive and to make the purchase. Hmm, sounds too easy. No, it's just easy. Capital One, what's in your wallet? 
Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Autonavigator. MHS means more than health insurance to me. They're my health care partner. We get the care we need from doctors we choose and even earn rewards for healthy things we're already doing. And with Marketplace, Medicaid, and Medicare options, I have coverage to protect my family's health wherever life takes us. MHS, a plan for life. Visit planforlifein.com to find coverage that works for you. And better from MHS is insured by Celtic Insurance Company. This is a solicitation for insurance. Amazon is hiring near you. And if you're a student or recent grad, you can earn up to $20 an hour while you learn. Whether you need part-time hours around your class schedule, want to save up over break, or learn a new trade without tuition, a job at Amazon can help. We offer free career courses, and we even help pay tuition. So start at Amazon, and you can be starting a whole new career path. Learn more at Amazon.com slash student jobs. Amazon is an equal opportunity employer. You went online to switch your car insurance to Progressive so you could save money. But then you saw a friend request from an old summer camp buddy. And now here you are, clicking through photos of his kickball team from 2011. Oh, looks like they won the championship that year. Then he moved to Tulsa. Oh, a new tattoo. Yes, they said it was easy to save hundreds on car insurance with Progressive, but they forgot about the rest of the Internet. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates National Labor Savings by new customer surveyed who saved in 2019. This Labor Day weekend, put on your running shoes and join in Southern Indiana's Heartland Half Marathon. Pass along the baton with friends to complete the course in the Team Challenge Relay. Bring the kids to participate in the 1.1 mile fun run. After you cross the finish line, celebrate at the River Center's after party featuring live music, food trucks, and more. For a reduced price, sign up by August 9th at heartlandhalfmarathon.com. The Heartland Half Marathon, 5K, Team Challenge, and Kids Fun Run in Jasper, Indiana. The perfect place to set your pace. Presented by Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Center. White Castle presents the new chicken fajita slider in a really good announcer voice. The chicken fajita slider is crispy chicken layered with grilled onions and peppers, spiced up with jalapeno cheese, and nuzzled with a green chili aioli. I didn't even know how sad and fajita-less I was until just this moment. The new chicken fajita slider. It's just the right level of hot. Yeah, it is. White Castle, long live sliders. While supplies last at participating castles. It's time for some straight talk. We've all been there. You have some real work to do, but the free Wi-Fi where you're working isn't going to cut it. It's like leaving the winning runner stranded on third base. Not good. Well, now you can be your own hotspot with Straight Talk's ultimate unlimited plan. Get 10 gigs of hotspot data for just 55 bucks a month, all on America's largest, most dependable networks. Straight Talk Wireless. No contract, no compromise. Compatible device required. See straighttalk.com. Fresh Family Meyer. Your new Westfield Meyer store has opened its doors. It's where you'll find fresh, high quality meats, seafood, and farm fresh produce delivered daily. It's where you'll find family, a huge selection of home, apparel, and electronics brands at low Meyer prices. From our family to every member of yours. All for you, all in one place. Drop by or shop online at Meyer.com or in the Meyer app. We'll be here for you at your Fresh Family Westfield Meyer leaves the park he's got 14 homers 25 seconds to go about back our way i kind of want a magenta ball now and another foul back and does that mean he's getting tired that's I one drill to center that's for sure and that's gone How much is this kid going to get paid, dude? I think he's as good in a bat as there is. Time is up. Did that just go? Did that count? Are they counting that? 15? He's talking to the umpire. They say he's got 15. So here in round two, Pete Alonso getting set. Juan Soto, I think he, I think it's 15 is what it ends up for him. Trey Mancini is into the finals. Yeah, Juan Soto with 15. And here comes the polar bear, 
who had 35 in the first round on 40 swings, which, I mean, it's hard to articulate how unique that is. That's being good. That's also being lucky at the same time. I mean, it's, yeah, no doubt. But you talk about the New York Mets, the uniform that Pete Alonso wearing coming into the all-star break, first place in the National League East. Salvador Perez Philadelphia. just went over. Dave, this is a funny visual. Dave Jouse, who's throwing, got on basically the elevated ramp that they pitch off of to stretch his back. Sal Perez went over, grabbed a bunch of the magenta balls, and started throwing them into the crowd. Hey, you guys want some souvenirs? Here you go. Here's Alonso. We're underway. Liner to left. Gone. And a pop-up. Now towards left center. So... Alonso swing high fly ball left field and that one is out of here That second one probably got him the extra bonus time it did this one is crushed left field He's in such a good spot Yeah, I mean he look he's just he's got five homers now But he's a big strong guy and he's a home run hitter. He's got that swing. This one crushed to left center and gone. Did I have enough. Yeah. 6'3", yep. 245. Seven. Can you count that? This one lifted to left field. High and deep and high and gone. 15 for Soto. He's got eight. This is going to be nine. A liner to left field. Nope. A little short. Hit the wall. This is massacred left field and way gone. Wow. Now one blasted out to left center and out of here. He's not going to need his timeout. I don't even know if he's going to need the extra time. Crush to left. That one is gone. 13. Liner, 14. High in the air, timeout. And the park holds that one. One to tie and two to win, and he's dancing. He's waving to the crowd. I, I don't know how you, he's a ham, and I totally dig it. He's all about it. He's in the moment. He's bobbing and he's doing the same thing he's been doing every single round. He's just in a good place. He's just so much fun. He goes thumbs up. He's ready to go. He needs one homer to tie Juan Soto and two to meet Trey Mancini in the finals. Swing and a high fly ball. That's the farthest ball we've seen hit, I think. Way back and gone. Wow. Here's another, and that will do it. Alonzo into the finals, and he doesn't need to swing anymore. Nice. Wow. Man, he is. I mean, he's even better than he was in 2019 when he wanted in terms of just quickly getting into that rhythm. Pete Alonso eliminates Juan Soto, and he'll square off with Trey Mancini in the 2021 Home Run Derby Final. So here at Coors Field, the baseball is flying. A little bit of a surprise as Shohei Otani eliminated by Juan Soto. Trey Mancini getting to the finals. It's Mancini. Mancini, he tried to say, against Alonzo. This is the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and ESPN app. Who doesn't want instant gratification? 
If you're looking for satisfaction, there's no need to wait. With Credit Karma Money, you could win cash reimbursements for debit purchases. And when you make a purchase between July 1st and July 23rd, you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win $1 million. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and have the chance to start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank Incorporated. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. Anyone who has ever needed self-storage knows what a hassle it can be. You have to rent or borrow a truck and then find someone to help you move your stuff. And let's face it, moving furniture and heavy items without damaging them isn't easy. Renting the unit is worse. The hidden fees and admin costs are scarier than the dingy facilities you're leaving your stuff in. Why not use Closet Box instead? Closet Box is self-storage without leaving home. They'll pick up your belongings, store them securely, and bring any item back when you need it. The best part? Unlike traditional self-storage, you only pay for what you store. No paying for unused storage space. Closet Box's background check storage movers are licensed, bonded, and insured and will take care of all of the heavy lifting. Closet Box's local storage centers are temperature controlled and monitored 24-7. Closet Box has an A-plus rating from the BBB. Call 877-233-5696 now for the season's best rates. Get $50 off first month storage using code RADIO50. That's 877-233-5696. 877-233-5696. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let VCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective VCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. That's right. Get the bathroom of your dreams now and pay for it in 2021. Call 1-800-779-4178 for a free no-obligation price quote. That's 1-800-779-4178. When you want quality bathroom products at a great price, it's got to be BCI Bath & Shower. That's 1-800-779-4178. What makes the perfect workout? Being able to ride, lift, and stretch in one place with motivating instructors. Y'all look so good out there, Peloton. Classes that always work around your busy summer schedule. Push, Peloton. You've got 20 minutes of opportunity on this ride. Instructor-curated playlists for every mood. Let's turn it up. Come on. Now, what if you had it all? Ride at home. The Peloton bike. Nothing like working out from home. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. This is the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Back here, Coors Field, and the light's starting to take effect. At Lowe's, we know your home is an expression of you, and we see you walking down these aisles of possibility, running your finger on that marble top Allen and Roth vanity, regularly $5.99, but now $3.49, and finding that perfect rattan pendant at an everyday low price of $99.98. In our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into at a price you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see associate at Lowe's.com for details. Bow through 829.21, U.S. only. It's easy to get all the things you love for all the people you love when you shop at your new Westfield Meyer. Download the Meyer app to explore your new Meyer store before you visit. Find your favorites for less when you browse thousands of weekly deals, redeem Emperks rewards, and place your home delivery or pickup order with no markup. The Meyer app has all of Meyer, all in one place. Let's connect. Download the Meyer app and be ready for your new Westfield Meyer. Now open. Why is Elements Financial like a bank only better? One reason is we are committed to value for our member owners. As a credit union, we're known for better rates and fewer fees, which allow your own money to work harder for you. And overall, we're helping you to be smarter with your money in any situation. Visit us at elements.org to learn more reasons we are like a bank only better. Federally insured by the NCUA. MHS means more than health insurance to me. They're my health care partner. We get the care we need from doctors we choose. And even...
even earn rewards for healthy things we're already doing. And with Marketplace, Medicaid, and Medicare options, I have coverage to protect my family's health wherever life takes us. MHS, a plan for life. Visit planforlifein.com to find coverage that works for you. And better from MHS is insured by Celtic Insurance Company. This is a solicitation for insurance. Progressive presents an interview with your upstairs neighbor. Hey, it's Rick from upstairs. Yeah, I take it seriously. When I play R&B at 1 in the morning, that's me saying, hey, I'm here for you. And I enjoy repetitive bass lines. I only use expired batteries in my smoke detectors. <laughs> nice, right? Yeah, upstairs neighbors help people forget their troubles. Give them something else to focus on. Ooh, want to see how high I can jump? Progressive can't save you from your upstairs neighbor. <laughs> no, wait, let me try again. But we can save you money when you bundle renters and auto insurance with us. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. The NBA playoffs continue. They can't stop Giannis tonight. Giannis drops 41 and the Bucks take game three in Milwaukee. Can Chris Paul and the Suns bounce back in game four? Coverage begins Wednesday at 8 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ABC. Presented by Indeed. Coming up on the Max Kellerman Show, the clock is ticking on the Aaron Rodgers situation. Who will blink first? Tune in to the Max Kellerman Show. Weekdays, 2 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN+. Plus. We're back on Tuesday getting you set for a massive game four in the NBA Finals. Can the Bucks even the series, or will the Suns start to pull away? Keyshawn, J. Will and Zubin, Tuesday morning on ESPN Radio. The Right Time with Bomani Jones. Spencer Hall, this is proof that the NCAA never really cared how players got paid. What if I get an endorsement for the whole team and we distribute it at regular predictable intervals throughout the year? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not a payroll, right? No, no, no. That's an endorsement deal. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a payroll. <laughs> the Right Time with Bomani Jones. You can listen or follow on the ESPN app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Janae and Golick Jr. Every locker room is run by the players and everyone starts with the top down. The new coach's job is always you got to connect first and foremost with the star player on that team so that message can get disseminated in this process. It just still weirds me out because as we look at this job, everything about the Mavericks situation, the appeal is tied to Luka Doncic, right? Like we know the Porzingis contract is going to be a difficult thing for them to have to navigate, but you got a, maybe the biggest, brightest young star in the NBA. No disrespect to Trey Young and what he's doing right now, but it's just so fascinating to me that, again, we have Rick Carlisle almost acting like the cool divorced dad in this situation, coming back, and it's like, hey, I just want what's best for the family here. Still shows up to the blend of Thanksgiving. Feels really good about this situation. It's like, if you're trying to do right by all this and it seemed like a situation that was so good and you have one of those big stars that you can build around there, I'm just struggling to see why this was such a mutual breakup. Cheney and Golick Jr. Weekdays at 4 Eastern on ESPN Radio. And now, watch exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. They just gave him his longest homer at 490. And we're back underway. So he's got the full bonus time now. He swings and drives one to center. That's gone at six. Next one is out to center. That's gone at seven. Left center. That's eight. Blasted out to center field again. He's got nine. Another one on the way. Mancini in a groove. He's got 11. 43 seconds left. Rip to center. That's back. And that's gone. Another to center field. And that's short of the wall. A dozen homers for Mancini. This one's got the distance. High and deep left center field and a home run. Uh-oh. This one crushed out towards left and gone. He's in a pretty good groove. Pete Alonso is going to have some work to do. He's going to have some work to do. Another one ripped out towards dead center. Got left it. field. And that'll go. Wow. That was smoke. The buzzer goes off. And he's got... 17, I believe. And he's got another minute. Wow, Trey Mancini, you're something else. Pete Alonso taking notice and I think sobering up a little bit, realizing that, man, he is going to have to be on his game. By no means is he going to cruise 
to a victory in this one with that first round that Mancini just had. Manny Machado, Trey Mancini having a chat. Cedric Mullins as well. Just a wonderful story. Trey Mancini who was diagnosed with cancer less than two years ago. Back playing in the majors and put up a really good first half. And here he is vying for the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby Championship. And he's got an extra minute to add to his total of 17. He's got to be feeling it right now. He knows that if he turns in another 60 seconds, he's going to win a million bucks. Yep. Magenta baseball's in play. Gosh, this thing's hurting my eyes. It's hard to see. This one lifted out to center. That one may have the distance to center field. Here's a rocket to left. That's gone. He's got 20. <laughs> 21 now for Mancini. Lifted out towards center. And a liner to left. Mancini again to center field. That doesn't have the distance. 13 seconds left. High fly ball left center field. There's a little drought right here. This one will go to left field. That clears the wall. Deep into the seats and gone. And he finishes with 22 home runs. I'll tell you what, that's still pretty darn good when yeah. you consider at this point, two I mean, minutes and as many swings as they've taken. I mean, yeah. these guys are going to be running on fumes to extend. I mean, I know Pete Alonzo, he has looked like it's been effortless for him, but he's got some experience in this, knows how to pace himself. But a nice, nice showing there for Trey Mancini. He's definitely in a spot to win this. It's not an automatic that Pete Alonzo is going to run away with it. So we await. Pete Alonzo, who right now is just down on the grass, just sitting and waiting. As they get the bucket of baseballs ready, let's go downstairs. Chuck Ristano with Tim Kirchhoff. Chuck, your boy Trey Mancini got to the finals of the Home Run Derby. How does that make you feel? Unbelievable. I'm glad to just be here playing a really small part but the story is just so amazing you couldn't write it any better so i'm thrilled i'm ecstatic for him when he called you to give you the invite what was your reaction i was in the atlanta airport he called me and said i have to tell you something nobody knows about and it was an instant where i was scared to death and then when he explained it to me it was complete exhilaration it took me the entire flight back to south bend to compose myself you are a decorated pitching coach, but what does tonight mean for you personally in your life? This is about as good as you can do at the baseball level. Just to see what these guys do, see how serious they take everything, but how much fun they have. This is something that I'll remember every single day of my life till I die. This is unbelievable. And I'm so thankful, Trey, let me be a part of it. Chuck, thank you. Thanks, Tim. Great to meet you. That is awesome. And you can hear him say to Tim Kirchig, great to meet you. For Chuck Ristato throwing to Trey Mancini tonight. Wow. So here's the defending champ, Pete Alonzo. And we'll see what ends up happening. But my goodness, what a special night. Trey Mancini. Pretty, pretty awesome. As we wait here at Coors Field, and again, tomorrow night, the 91st Major League Baseball All-Star Game. The starting pitchers will be Shohei Otani and Max Scherzer. We hope Shohei's going to yeah, be right? okay. He was really tired competing in this home run derby, and you know, for me coming in, Boog, my thought was if Shohei Otani wins the derby, 
Then he starts tomorrow and gets in at bat. What good is he going to be in the second half for the Angels? I mean, it's, they're going to have to give him a good, solid seven to ten days off after the All-Star break. Still might need a good four or five days after it's over. Yep. Well, we wait for Pete Alonzo. Fans, a reminder, catch the best of the bigs all season on MLB Plus with over 170 live MLB games featuring every star and every team in the league. Sign up now at ESPNplus.com slash baseball. Dave Jouse, the bench coach for Miguel Rojas in New York. And Dave Jouse, the bench coach, will throw to Pete Alonzo, who is the defending derby champ. He needs 22 homers to tie. And Pete Alonzo becoming the third hitter to win back-to-back -back home run derbies. Ken Griffey Jr. did it 98-99. Former Met Ioannis Cespedes won it in 13 and 14. And Cespedes is the only guy to win in each of his first two home run derby appearances, which Alonzo would try to do. I feel like Alonzo's got like a direct line to the DJ here in the ballpark because now he's got some journey going, don't stop believing, yep. getting the crowd involved, they're singing the songs. It's like he plays for the Rockies or something. Here's a twist, quirky number. Remember back in 2019, it was Guerrero against Alonzo after that epic semifinal, Guerrero and Jock Peterson. Well, Vlad hit exactly 22 homers in the 2019 final, and Alonzo was shooting for the same 23 that made him a champion that year. And he's bobbing his head and dancing a little bit. Met fans loving it. Dave Joust ready to pitch. Here we go. Swing and a ball crushed. Left field towards the scoreboard and gone. Wow. He's on the board. Here's another that's gone to left field. High fly ball drilled in the air to center. That doesn't have the distance. He's got two. That one's ripped to left center and gone. Another out towards left center. Right and there. that one is out. He's got four. Swing and a blast to center field. That one to the left of the batter's eye and gone. And another high fly ball left field and gone. And one right on its heels and gone. He's just hit six, seven, make it eight, make it nine. Golden. Left center field, make it ten. Center field. 11. Center field again. I think this one's going to get out. It does. Time out. Time out. He's got a dozen. 36 seconds left. He needs 10 to tie. And 11 to win. He's already got the bonus time. So he's got 36. Then a pause. And then another minute. He reaches down, grabs some dirt, wipes it on his batting gloves, fastens, unfastens those batting gloves. Look, I think he, if he can get to 16, he's in a really good spot. Yep. I think he, if he gets to 16, four more homers, which he could probably, he's capable of hitting six more in 35, 36 seconds. Alonzo <laughs> bouncing his head, bopping up and down. Here comes Chuck Torres telling him to stop. What's going on down there? Dave Chouse leaning over. 
who's got 36 seconds left on the timer. What are we doing? I don't know what we're waiting on. Oh, yeah, there's two. A couple they kids out there collided. got hurt. Yeah. yeah both, two were going for the ball, and like one kind of flipped over the other. And it's pretty, pretty tough. We got to get a long way to right center field to get yeah. that kid out of here, but they're close. It's giving Pete Alonzo a little extra time. Yeah, it is. So an injury on um, one of the shaggers. <laughs> yeah, now Pete Alonzo ready to hit. Nods his head. He hasn't gotten tired. It's been interesting. He swings and lines one to left. There swings and crushes one left field. Oh, he gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 13. I don't know if I've ever seen that, Boo. This one ripped to left center and gone. You ever seen a guy get hit by his BP four? I think I have actually. There's no sticky stuff. Remember, left and gone. Another deep to left and gone. Another deep to left center, and that's gone. A low liner to left, and it hits the fence. He's got 17. He'll need six in a minute. It's in a good spot. In a good spot. Well, Trey Mancini, regardless of how it turns out, he missed all of 2020 battling colon cancer. This is the sound of the kind of thrill ride summer was made for. Here's the sound of another one. At the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event, you'll find great deals on our entire line of performance vehicles, including the RCF, LC, and IS. Strap in and then hold on tight. But hurry, the sale ends September 7th. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Click the banner to discover more. Hey, we get it. You don't want to be hearing a progressive commercial right now. So let us tell you something you do want to hear. No one is funnier than you. People laugh just thinking about the things you've said. <laughs> I'm laughing at one of them right now. Coworkers repeat your jokes at the office, but they're never as good as when you tell them and shame on them for trying. There, don't you feel better? You'll also feel better knowing you could save when you bundle home and auto with Progressive. <laughs> Although I'm sure you'd have a funnier way to say that. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers bundle discount not available in all states or situations. At Lowe's, we know your home is an expression of you. And we see you walking down these aisles of possibility, running your finger on that marble top Allen and Roth vanity, regularly $5.99, but now $3.49. And finding that perfect rattan pendant at an everyday low price of $99.98. In our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into at a price you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see associate at Lowe's.com for details. Bow through 829.21, U.S. only. It's easy to get all the things you love for all the people you love when you shop at your new Westfield Meyer. Download the Meyer app to explore your new Meyer store before you visit. Find your favorites for less when you browse thousands of weekly deals. Redeem Emperks rewards and place your home delivery or pickup order with no markup. The Meyer app has all of Meyer, all in one place. Let's connect. Download the Meyer app and be ready for your new Westfield Meyer. Now open. With the Capital One Saver Card, you earn unlimited 4% cash back on dining out or in, 4% back on entertainment or on popular streaming, and now 3% back at grocery stores so you can make the cake that makes her day. Happy birthday to you. So earn unlimited cash back for going out or staying in with the Capital One Saver Card. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. 35 home runs yep and look at some of the metrics there because it's got to be one of the best performances that we've seen no doubt of consistency of two contact ball out of the ballpark amazing stuff well pete alonzo the winner of the 2021 t-mobile home run derby 
For Chris Singleton, Tim Kirkjian, engineers Al Rosenberg and Bob White, plus producer Justin Ware, I'm John Chambi at Coors Field. Now we send it back to the studio and Kevin Winter. Gentlemen, great job. We'll talk to you tomorrow night for coverage of the 91st Midsummer Classic. Think about this for Pete Alonso there. In that two-minute section, when he hit 17 home runs, he had seven home runs in a 33-second span. So what does he do when he gets to the bonus time? In 29 seconds, he hit six home runs to win it. Coming up next, here on the T-Mobile 2021 Home Run Derby, we will hear from Pete Alonzo. We'll also look ahead to tomorrow night's 91st Major League Baseball All-Star Game, the National League and the American League. From Coors Field in Denver, Shohei Otani starts and hits leadoff for the American League. Max Scherzer, Fernando Tatis at your starter and your leadoff batter for the National League. But Pete Alonzo, your home run derby champion, we'll hear from him next. You're listening to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. The NBA playoffs and KJZ. If you're the Milwaukee Bucks, if there's a year to close the deal, it is this year. You win the whole damn thing. The best analysis. The dude hit 41. He accounted for 14 of the 16 points down the stretch when the Clippers tried to close the gap. Plenty of reaction. He turned the steam on full steam ahead. That's what legacy is. The NBA playoffs in Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin. Weekday morning starting at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN2. 30 for 30 presents. One of the greatest basketball players in the world will not be playing in the WNBA this season. Maya Moore announcing today that she wants to focus on her family and some ministry dreams. The truth is, I am more than just a basketball player. I wasn't looking for a case to get involved with, but you see injustice, you have to act. 30 for 30 presents Breakaway. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, presented by Hyundai. The Midsummer Classic. The 2021 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. He's the most remarkable and most exciting player in the game right now. Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge, and Vlad Guerrero lead the American League. They'll face Fernando Tatis Jr., Freddie Freeman, and Jacob DeGrom. The 2021 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Presented by Credit Karma. Today, Angola Jr. You're never going to like 100% of anyone, even the person that you love the most. The real question becomes, what percentage of the bad stuff are you willing to tolerate for all the good that comes with it? And I think Chris Paul is the perfect example of that because we have seen him come in and really stabilize a team that was already hot last year. Cheney and Golick Jr., weekdays at 4 Eastern on ESPN Radio. And now, watch exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. It's finals time. Is it time for the Milwaukee Bucks to capture their second championship? Antetokounmpo again drives inside and throws it down. Or time for the Phoenix Suns to rise up and win their first title? Paul for three. Bang! Chris Paul has electrified the crowd. The NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV. Game four, Suns Bucks. Wednesday at 9 Eastern on ABC. Another one. We're back on Tuesday, getting you set for a massive game four in the NBA Finals. Can the Bucks even the series, or will the Suns start to pull away? Keyshawn, Jay Will, and Zubin, Tuesday morning on ESPN Radio. Coming up on the Max Kellerman Show, the clock is ticking on the Aaron Rodgers situation. Who will blink first? Tune in to the Max Kellerman Show, weekdays, 2 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN+. Plus. You're listening to the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Kevin Winter with you back in our studios. What a home run derby it was from Coors Field in Denver tonight. Trey Mancini opens up with a first-round win over Matt Olson. Trevor Story, a first-round win over Joey Gallo. Pete Alonso, 35 in the first round. Not to be outdone, Salvador Perez had 28. And then the matchup everyone wanted, Shohei Otani and Juan Soto. They go to a three-swing swing-off. Soto goes three for three. So it's Story versus Mancini in the semis. Mancini wins with 13. Soto versus Pete Alonso. Alonso wins, Alonso wins with 16. And in the championship round, your 2021 T-Mobile 
home run derby champion is Pete Alonso. 17 in two minutes and then six in 29 seconds to win it. It's time for Straight Talk Salvage, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Moments ago, Buster Only of ESPN with back-to-back now two-time champion Pete Alonso of the New York Mets. Pete, how in the world were you so relaxed during that? I've done this before, and I'm, I'm extremely confident in my ability to hit the ball out of the yard. I feel like I'm uh, the best power hitter in the game, and it was on display tonight. Compare how you felt in winning this in 2019 to how you felt tonight. Oh, this is awesome. It never gets old. <laughs> how about Trey Mancini, the show he put on tonight? I mean, Trey's story is just unbelievable. I mean, everybody in the Derby put on the show, but uh, Trey's, Trey's story is just unbelievable. And uh, I'm just happy that he was able to participate and put on the show. I mean, he, everyone, everyone did awesome. I thought that we were super entertaining and put on a great show for the fans. So you've won two. Back to back back next year will we be back i don't know we'll see but uh i'm just gonna enjoy this one for now and i'll, I'll have to i'll have to think on it but this this event so fun and and i really enjoyed myself tonight straight talk wireless no contract no compromise our pitch that we've thought of here in the studio for pete alonzo you participate until you are beaten that is what you need to do and the pledge you need to make to major league baseball i am in until someone beats me because the polar bear in a stretch of 33 seconds in that two-minute championship round, hit seven of his 17 home runs in 33 seconds. And then when he gets to the finals, to that extra minute, that bonus minute, he hit six home runs in 29 seconds after Trey Mancini had five in 60. The Baseball Tonight podcast with Buster Only. New episodes every weekday. Listen on the ESPN app or wherever you get your podcast. Coming up next, we continue to get you ready for the 91st Midsummer Classic Pete Alonso with the New York Mets, now a two-time back-to-back winner of the T-Mobile Home Run Derby. This is the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app. If you're ready for an oil change, trust the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts to recommend the best products for your car. Right now, get five quarts of Valvoline full synthetic motor oil and a Wix filter for $33.99. Plus, get a $10 gift card after mail-in rebate and double O rewards points. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's time for some straight talk. We've all been there. You have some real work to do, but the free Wi-Fi where you're working isn't going to cut it. It's like leaving the winning runner stranded on third base. Not good. Well, now you can be your own hotspot with Straight Talk's ultimate unlimited plan. Get 10 gigs of hotspot data for just 55 bucks a month, all on America's largest, most dependable networks. Straight Talk Wireless. No contract, no compromise. Compatible device required. See straighttalk.com. Yeah, this season, I actually had little business cards made. Eric Rubino, fantasy baseball GM. You can keep that. Sure, the players are famous, but come game day, I decide their fate. What's that? Oh, you make 20 million? Well, I don't like your attitude. You benched! No, I'd never bench an all-star, but I could. That's also why I like Progressive's Name Your Price tool. With options based on my budget, they never throw me a... Get ready to cheer on Team USA. Sign up for Xfinity Internet and get a Flex 4K streaming box free and Peacock Premium included. Can your internet do that? Get ready for the Olympic Games with Xfinity Internet for only $25 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. And get a Flex 4K streaming box free. Offer ends August 8th. So go online, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. New performance starter customers only. Equipment taxes and fees. Extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Peacock subscription required. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Fresh Family Meyer. Your new Westfield Meyer store has opened its doors. It's where you'll find fresh, high quality meats, seafood, and farm fresh produce delivered daily. It's where you'll find family, a huge selection of home, apparel, and electronics brands at low Meyer prices. From our family to every member of yours. All for you, all in one place. Drop by or shop online at Meyer.com or in the Meyer app. We'll be here for you at your Fresh Family Westfield Meyer. At Lowe's, we know your home is an expression of you. And we see you walking down these aisles of possibility, running your finger on that marble top Allen and Roth vanity, regularly $5.99, but now $3.49. And finding that perfect rattan pendant at an everyday low price of $99.98. In our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into at a price you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see associate at Lowe's.com for details. Bow through 829.21, U.S. only. 
It makes a difference when a community gets thousands of new jobs. It makes a bigger difference when all of those jobs pay more than double the federal minimum wage. All Amazon employees make at least $15 an hour. Employees aren't the only ones who experience the impact of our starting wage. Neighbors like Sylvia and Francois of Sylvia's Cafe in Opelaka, Florida, feel the impact of that extra spending money. See their story at aboutamazon.com forward slash 15. Home. It looks a little different for everyone. For some, it's a rustic cabin. For others, a big city high rise. And for others, it's renting a tiny studio that said it had laundry in the building, but the dryer's always broken. And don't get me started on the gym. That's not a gym. It's an elliptical machine and a boiler room. And let's not even discuss parking. But no matter where you call home, GEICO makes it easy to bundle and save on renters and car insurance. Easier than getting your landlord to return your calls. You can't hide forever, Leonard. Heard you're buying a car. I brought my calculator. Dad, I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. I found my car online and got pre-qualified instantly, instead of all that. You know those things impact your credit score. Didn't impact my credit score, Dad. Now I'm going to the dealership for a test drive and to make the purchase. Hmm, sounds too easy. No, it's just easy. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Auto Navigator. Wendy's only makes one kind of breakfast, your new favorite one. How do we do it? With fresh cracked eggs, oven-baked bacon, and flaky croissants. You know, the things your old breakfast wasn't doing. So toss that old news and its soggy eggs somewhere useful. And get to Wendy's, where the sausage egg and Swiss croissant, bacon egg and Swiss croissant, and honey butter chicken biscuit are just two for four dollars. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's two for four. Limited time only. Single item at regular price. Price and participation may vary at U.S. Wendy's. That's the sound of me prepping the grill with Reynolds Wrap. And the sound of me not doing dishes. And the sound of me spending more time outside with my family. Easy prep, cook, and clean. Make time with Reynolds Wrap. I like the sound of that. Find everything okay? Whenever you shop Meyer, you shop for your entire community. You help support food rescue programs and simply give. You help keep your neighbors well with vaccinations, free prescriptions, and mobile medicine. And you help support sports teams across the Midwest. Whenever you shop Meyer, you help people in your community to work, to play, to live, and to learn. Thanks for shopping with us. Learn more at Meyer.com. Hide the score. When you want to get behind the highlight, there's ESPN Daily. Go deeper into the stories of the moment. Get the exclusive access and insider perspective that only ESPN can give you. ESPN Daily, hosted by me, Pablo Torre. Listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. The NBA playoffs continue. Well, it's toward the basket. Force. Giannis drops 41 and the Bucks take game three in Milwaukee. Can Chris Paul and the Suns bounce back on the road? Or will the Bucks tie the series up at two? Set it up to last game. You know, this team's not going to give in. They're going to keep playing all the way through. So we have to bring that same effort. Game four, the Bucks and Suns. Coverage begins Wednesday at 8 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ABC. Presented by Indeed. Keyshawn Johnson, Jay Williams, and Zubin Mahente. Real or not real, quarterbacks are going to be benched this year. Andy Dalton, real. I think Andy Dalton will be benched this year. They drafted Justin Fields to be the answer. Chicago fans are going crazy to see this young man take the football field. The only difference is, will Matt Nagy and company be stubborn by forcing Andy Dalton? Keyshawn, Jay, Will, and Zubin. Weekday mornings at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Or streaming live on the ESPN app. This is Dale from Columbus, previously from the Paul Feinbaum Show. Cody just asked the best question I've heard since NIL. If Feinbaum callers were athletes and were able to collect, who would be the top five? I just hit myself over the head with a telephone book. Not that you can find one anymore. I can't believe I didn't think of that one. That is such a great question. The Paul Feinbaum Show, weekdays at 3 Eastern on the ESPN app and on the SEC Network. One app, one tap, we back. Switch the style up, never be new track. One app, my grand girl's back in town. Mystic Mac got the suits, he ain't backing down. Got Mitchell with the shots, he's a three-point provider. Corren como locos, cause they're scared of the spider. One app, La Liga's love on stream. Messi versus Benzema, classical supreme. Download 
now. You're listening to the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Kevin Orange are with you inside of our studios. This cap rated broadcast is presented by the authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball. May not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form in the accounts or descriptions of this game. May not be disseminated without express written consent. With more on tonight's festivities and to look at tomorrow night, we send you back to Coors Field in Colorado. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, so Pete Alonzo is your 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby champ. Singy, he put on a display. He was just kind of on a different level than everybody else. Yeah, he knew exactly. I mean, just from a body position, he was a little more upright. Dave Jouse, his pitching coach, or his BP thrower, I should say, was elevating the ball. And really, the reason why Pete Alonso did not look fatigued like anyone else in this derby is because of that. I think he was standing taller. He was getting a lot of pitches up. It makes it you're exerting less energy to hit the home runs that's a plan coming in and that's an executed plan yeah you made that point and you caught on to it very early on real quick we'd be remiss if we didn't acknowledge what a great story for trey mancini he's had an excellent first half especially in light of missing all of last year as he was dealing with colon cancer and he came up just short but great performance yeah i mean Pete Alonso, obviously, he was in such a group. He deserved to win it, but had it not been that situation, you wanted to see Trey Mancini. Once he got past that first round, saying, man, this is like building to be a really nice story. And regardless, I mean, he came into this wanting to inspire people. There is life after a diagnosis. There is life after chemotherapy. And regardless, incredible job to inspire people. Tomorrow night, we have the 91st MLB All-Star Game here at Coors Field. And like tonight, the spotlight will shine on Shohei Otani. Tonight, he was eliminated in the first round by Juan Soto, who is a brilliant talent in his own right. But tomorrow night, it's going to be about Otani leading off the game as a hitter and then going out and pitching. He's the guy tomorrow night. Yeah, I hope, Boog, that he can recover because... He was tired tonight in that home run derby. I mean, from the first round, it wasn't like, you know, advancing and, you know, you're looking at fatigue. You could see that fatigue, even after extended periods of time off, didn't look like he was recovering real well. You have the higher elevation here, thinner air, a little bit harder. But, you know, again, the spotlight was on him coming into this derby. Okay, it's over. Pete Alonso won. It shifts back to Shohei Otani tomorrow. And for the sake of all the fans, you hope, that he'll be in a good spot to do something special, either on the mound or at the plate, or why not both? Why not both? I'm excited for it. Max Scherzer goes for the National League as we get ready for the All-Star Game from Coors Field. Let's send it back to the studio and Kevin Winter. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Great to be reconvened with you. It'll be us tomorrow night together. Tim Kirchin, Buster Rolney, uh, going to be part of our coverage tomorrow night as well. Marley Rivera will be here as well. Want to give you this Did You Know right to my Napa, whether it's next day delivery or getting involved in their local communities. Napa goes above and beyond to serve you because their motor never quits. That's Napa know-how. Did you know tomorrow night, Shohei Otani will lead off for the American League and he leads the American League in home runs, while Fernando Tatis will lead off for the National League, and he is the top's home run hitter in the NL. Did you know this is the first time ever that both All-Star Game leadoff hitters will enter the game leading their respective leagues in home runs? We are the previous six home run leaders to start the leadoff spot in the home run in the game, and they all did it to start the game as well. That's tomorrow night. Otani and Tatis lead off. Scherzer and Otani are on the mound tomorrow morning. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Alan Hahn will get your day started beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern as they recap tonight's T-Mobile Home Run Derby and the championship round for Pete Alonso over Trey Mancini. And look ahead to tomorrow night's 91st Midsummer Classic. For our producer time, Rob Kelly, Technical Director Camilo Ortiz, and our Associate Producer Stasha Yankee, I'm Kevin Winter. For the second consecutive Home Run Derby, Pete Alonso with the New York Mets is your champion Back in 2019, he won it in Progressive Field. Tonight, he wins it at Coors Field. Tune in tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern time for coverage of the 91st Midsummer Classic, the American League against the National League. I'm Kevin Winter. We thank you for listening to the T-Mobile Home Run Derby on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. That one is quite and gone. The ballpark is better when we're all here together. 
the COVID-19 vaccines will soon be available to everyone. These vaccines are safe and effective. When it's your turn in the lineup, step up to the plate. Join the team and help us all get back to doing what we love together. To learn more, visit MLB.com slash COVID-19 resources. Who doesn't want instant gratification? If you're looking for satisfaction, there's no need to wait. With Credit Karma Money, you could win cash reimbursements for debit purchases. And when you make a purchase between July 1st and July 23rd, you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win $1 million. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and have the chance to start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions in terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVP Bank Incorporated. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. It might rain tonight. There's a 51% chance at 1 a.m. You have some real work to do, but the free Wi-Fi where you're working isn't going to cut it. It's like leaving the winning runner stranded on third base. Not good. Well, now you can be your own hotspot with Straight Talk's ultimate unlimited plan. Get 10 gigs of hotspot data for just 55 bucks a month, all on America's largest, most dependable networks. Straight Talk Wireless. No contract, no compromise. Compatible device required. See straighttalk.com. Anyone who has ever needed self-storage knows what a hassle it can be. You have to rent or borrow a truck and then find someone to help you move your stuff. And let's face it, moving furniture and heavy items without damaging them isn't easy. Renting the unit is worse. The hidden fees and admin costs are scarier than the dingy facilities you're leaving your stuff in. Why not use Closet Box instead? Closet Box is self-storage without leaving home. They'll pick up your belongings, store them securely, and bring any item back when you need it. The best part? Unlike traditional self-storage, you only pay for what you store. No paying for unused storage space. Closet Box's background check storage movers are licensed, bonded, and insured and will take care of all of the heavy lifting. Closet Box's local storage centers are temperature controlled and monitored 24-7. Closet Box has an A-plus rating from the BBB. Call 877-233-5696 now for the season's best rates. Get $50 off first month storage using code RADIO50. That's 877-233-5696. 877-233-5696. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. Charmin Super Mega Roll is six regular rolls in one. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Hi, it's Flo from Progressive, and today I'm at a tailgate to tell these diehard fans the good news. Uh, no thanks, not interested. Okay, but you and I have a lot in common. Oh, yeah? Sometimes when people compare our rates to our competitors at Progressive.com, we lose. And we both hate when our team loses. It eats at our souls and keeps us awake at night. Wait, what team? This is a concert. Oh, then I need a whole new metaphor. <laughs> yeah, you do. Good luck with that. Shop and compare rates at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Ready for your next road trip? Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts to get everything you need to stay safe while traveling. Visibility on the road is so important and so easy to achieve. Get your windshield streak-free and crystal clear with Blue Magic Glass Cleaner. On sale now, two for $5. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. <laughs> So, you know, none of the Astros showed up for this, you know, all-star festivities. And I get it. Who wants to get booed at an all-star game? I mean, Orbit, <laughs> the team mascot, got booed tonight wow. when they were announcing the mascot. The Astros